Alright team, what's up? We're back with some more pentiment. Uh Plenty here to block out my name, I gotta remember to do this at the end. I keep having to edit my fucking buds. I hate doing it. Get this shit out. Keep showing off my gamer tag. I gotta get it changed. But uh yeah. Continue on from where we left off last time. Now if I remember correctly... Uh... Fuck, I don't remember correctly. I think we were looking for someone to eat with. I 
think we just talked with the nuns, right? One got added as like a minimal suspect. Like there's a tiny chance. Yeah. So there's a chance Matilda is the murderer. I'm kind of caring less and less that this dude died because he was revealed as an asshole in several different ways. Lady Salome is probably also an asshole. We just don't know yet. Part of the course for these rich people to be assholes, but who knows, maybe she'll surprise. The thing I'm most concerned about is not missing any fucking lore bits. I hate having to go through every single room over and over. Wish this shit was on the map. Maybe it is on the map. I assume that's just places I can eat at. Yeah, it's just places I can eat. Not people I can talk to. That's what I need on the map. If you're gonna, like, break the immersion by... by showing me places I can eat without ever being there. Break the immersion and show me people I can talk to without ever being there. been through all this. I go up to the Millers today. And go up. I think this is like the first time I saw the Millers, right? Yeah. Millers are out. Uh, truckers? are all right. But I think I already ate with them. I think I've talked to everybody. I've exhausted all my options. What the fuck? Oh, Lucky. Andreas? Good day, Lucky. Do you have a moment to talk? Make it quick. I was wondering if I might break bread with you and Agnes. We never shared a meal. Perhaps another time. And I think I do need to talk with Lucky, though. Agnes. Good day, Andreas. Did you need something? Might I eat with you and Lucky? I realize we've never shared a meal together. No. You will, Agnes. I think they're my, op my meal option. Actually, I don't know. I might want to go that dude in the church. Warner. Who the fuck are you? Hello, you're the, uh, artist from Nuremberg? Andreas Mailer, journeyman artist at your service. You've heard of me already, Dr. Stoltz? Someone mentioned you dabbled at university for a year or two. Funny. You're staying with the Gertners, yes? 
The Abbey does have a guest house, you know. The Gertners are good and gracious people. For this stay in town, the Abbey is too rigid for my tastes. Perhaps if I were a master, the Gertner's guest bedroom better suits my finances. I assumed you were a man of means. You give that impression, vaguely. Hardly destitute, but I'm no lord either. I carry in my heart no the noble calling of the artist. I carry in my heart the noble calling of the artist, which transcends the base desire for wealth. My father and brothers are successful artists. Good, I like giving off a vague impression. Um, this dude seems like he doesn't care much about philosophy. That much is obvious. In any case, you speak like an educated man. But you can't be as dull as the rest of the people around here. I studied in the University of Erfurt. For a time, I'm sorry I didn't know I needed your approval. This dude's an asshole. Uh, no University of Freiburg. But it's an adequate center of learning. And Luther attended the University of Erfurt. As I said, adequate. I'm surprised to find another university man here in Tassing. The farmers aren't known for their stimulating conversation. What are you doing? What are you doing here then? Everyone's been kind enough to me. What's your problem with the farmers? They seem to be hardworking and honest people to me. What are you doing here? Building up my contacts. People of merit do pass through here occasionally. Unlike the unlikely though it may seem. Mark. It takes time to build a steady business and a good reputation. Your justification seems to be a little thin, Werner. They speak to you, willingly? I don't need you to approve of my circumstances, Mailer. Shut the fuck up. Fortunately, I do not intend to stay in Tassing long. Why are you planning to go instead? I'm sure the townspeople would be heartbroken to see you go. Huh. They have the town midwife, an old nun, and a crippled sawbones to look after them. No more skilled hands could Tassing expect, nor deserve. I recommend you don't linger here either, Mailer. Or you'll soon find yourself trapped in a marriage to a house faced to a mouse faced girl with dirt under her nails. A daily risk for you, I'm sure. Alas, there's already a woman waiting for me in Nuremberg. I'm a successful, educated doctor, Mailer. I can't be too careful. In any case, I must ask you to go. I have plenty of work to do. Good day. It's been a pleasure, I suppose. Likewise. Now, goodbye. I hope he gets killed next. Oh, good. Let me out. So I might have to edit the schedule a bit. Uh, I might have to leave. Or I might be gone on Friday. I'm not sure yet. We'll have to see. Sorry, Grit. Maybe another time. But, uh... Yeah. We might do Monster Hunter on Thursday. I might just delay that until another day. Depending on if I'm actually here on Friday or not. Andreas? Oh, Andreas. Good timing. Do you have a moment to lend me a hand? Of course. Wonderful. I've got too many irons in the fire. Rather, shoes. Horseshoes. I miscounted how many I put in. Now I need a hand. They'll still overheat and I won't be able to work the metal. Here, take the shoe and the tongs. Put the hot part of the shoe on the anvil and I'll hit it with the hammer. Oh. Faster. Oh. 
I see. This is the fucking horn. I thought I was looking at the top of it for some reason. I don't know why I didn't say horn, like I don't know what the fuck that is. Well done, see? Short work. Thanks for the help, Andreas. I don't know what I was thinking doing all of those at once. It would be nice to have someone to help you out here every day. Have you considered an apprentice? Have you considered a child? Don't look at me, painting is hard enough. Have you considered an apprentice? I have. None of the boys in the village seem interested. Keep at them. Bet you get Bert Drucker. Klaus would have my head if I tried. Anyway, I don't want to take up any more of your time. Till then. Andrus is cool. He'll get a wife someday. It's in Roman House Auto. You have supper plans, Andreas? Want to join me and Dad at our table? Maybe another time, Otto. Good thing. Guessing old Otto's in here? Maybe they have a dog. Andreas, care to eat supper with me and Otto? Can't just now, Otto, but thank you. As you like. Oh, they got no women in the house. None of them know how to cook. This is olden times. Bro's probably cooking hot dogs and soup. Bro's cooking bread and water. Johan, Hans, Eddie, Veronica. Can I talk to these people? I think I talked to Hetty. Can't go down. What's up, Hans? Hey, Andreas. How's it going, Hans? Keeping busy in the fields? I guess. Do you like it? What? Farming. Never really thought about it. That says it has to get done whether I like it or not. What do you think about then? Or what do you think about then? Uncle Franz said Brigitte might come help with the laundry today. She's Martin Martine's wife, right? It seems nice. She is. Nicer than Veronica, anyway. Wish Brigitte lived here instead of her. Well, you have a good time thinking about your cousin's wife. What? Until later, Hans. Bye. He's angry. Andreas, you got supper plans? Why don't you join us at our table? Maybe another time, Johan. Your thing, be safe. And then there's the Gertners. Why is there a monk here? Andreas, Christ, there you are. Brother Waslav, what's the matter? Don't tell me there's been another killing. It's the Arch Archdeacon. Archdeacon? He's come early, with an entire retinue in tow. He's questioning everyone who knew the Baron and Brother Piero. I've already told him the little I know. He expects to speak with you tomorrow at Nans. He requested you specifically. Did you say why? It's no secret you've been poking about the town and the abbey, sticking your nose in the rut. Hope you prying has borne fruit. Piero's neck will meet the sword. I've done my best with the time I've had. I'm well aware of the stakes. Thank you. If only I had a couple more days. Whatever happens, Piero knows you've been working hard on his behalf. He's grateful for it. If only, Andreas... What is it? It's just... You know, as well as I do, the Baron was not a good man. You know as well as I do, the Baron was not a good man. Not saying he deserved what he got, just think hard about what you tell the Archdeacon. 
and who you tell him about. You understand? You're worried I'll tell the Archdeacon what I've heard of Sister Matilda? All I'm saying is, if in your searching you heard anything about her, I'd ask you to keep it at yourself. Keep it to yourself. I'll do what I can to protect the sisters from censure. Do what I can to protect Sister Matilda from censure. Can't make any promises, I'm sorry. That's all I would ask of you. Be sure to turn to Curcell. The abbot will be having a fit right about now. Be well, Andreas. I will pray for Piero's deliverance tonight. You should as well. Was the deacon who I had to tell about the... The grave? Or was that the abbot? Fuck. Oh. Who did I have to tell about this shit? I feel like that's really important evidence. That is what I need right now. Oh shit. I got him covering up like the whole fucking screen. And that should be fine. Let's see if I can grab... I want to check this shit out. It's like the kitchen cellar is popping off. Guess not. This hello. Adoc. God bless you, Andreas Bruno. Andreas? Just you are aiding abiding by my command to leave Piero and the rest of the monastics at peace. Father Gurno is in a difficult position. He hasn't been at the abbot long, and he's young. The elder monks don't respect him. Friend of the prince bishop murdered under the roof of his abbey. Doesn't look good. If I represent a threat to the abbot's authority, he could expel me from the abbey, masterwork or not. I'd lie and say I haven't investigated a single thing. And I may never discover who really killed Lorenz, and Piero will die for it. But be careful not to alienate Gurno before the archdeacon arrives. Maybe. Have you made any progress? I'm satisfied I have the Baron's Killer well in hand. And if I am not mistaken, truth is for the Archdeacon to uncover. Not a journeyman artist who is not even a part of this community. There is more at stake here than you understand, Andreas. Given that I am not the Lord, and I don't have a perfect understanding of all things, of course that's the case. That may be, but I can't... In good conscience, let an innocent man face death while a murderer runs loose. What is at stake here exactly? That's why I've come to you with a request. And? I have reason to believe there is something hidden in Brother Gerhard's grave and I'd like to dig it up. I have reason to believe Prior Ferenc has hidden something in Brother Gerhard's grave and I'd like to dig it up. Ferenc is Gerno's assistant. Suggesting Frank might have killed Lorenz might anger the abbot if the two are close. The brothers chose Gurno over Frank because they didn't like Frank. They didn't find Frank trustworthy. Gurno might not either. I'd keep Frank's name out of it entirely, but then my reasoning would sound rather vague. Damn. I think I'm friends with. I can. I don't think I'm friends with this dude. I don't think this will work out. Just lay it on thick. What does that have to do with the death of Baron Rothbogel? Suspect the weapon, weapon used to murder the Baron may be buried here. Baron Rothbogel was stabbed. We know the murder weapon used to kill him. Brother Piero was found holding it. Baron Stabu was self-inflicted. He was killed by a blow to the head. 
How do you know this? I recall telling you to stay off Abbey grounds after the body was discovered. Evident to anyone who gives Baron Rothvogel's body more than cursory examination. Florian, let me watch his investigation of Loren's wounds. Against the abbot's wishes. It would be ungrateful of me to reveal his disobedience to the abbot. But what we learn might help convince the abbot that Piero couldn't have killed Lorenz. Are you suggesting I didn't give the murder of Baron Rothvogel my due attention? You seem to think I don't know who killed the Baron. Whether Piero is the one who did it, I do. But I have a role to play here, and I can't be seen seem to undermine the authority of the Archdeacon in stepping outside of it. You take me for a fool? I will not let you exhume Brother Gerhard's body on a hunch. Fucking A. Doesn't matter, he's nothing more than bones now, I'm sure he won't mind. He was a brother of this abbey, and he should be left in peace. Just as I would like to be. Leave now, and do not pester me about this again. God damn it. What do I do then? You, Andreas, have you seen Brother Ryder? Why not? Why? No, no why. Because he was not at... Land? Louds? Monastic hour at dawn. Not at Louds, and no one has seen him since then. You think something's happened? I think after you terrified him in the library, he decided it was safer to run. He can make decisions for himself. If he ran, that's his choice. Sorry, I didn't mean to cause him this much distress. Yes, you couldn't have known how sensitive he is. Still, you did threaten him, threaten us. It is no small thing. If he does not return or if something has happened to him, I will hold you responsible. Alright, you're worried about nothing. I pray you are right. God bless you, Andreas. Until later. Volkberg. Good day, Andreas. Do you need something? Father Abbott said I should help you if you needed it, so here I am. There's a matter I need your help with, Volkbert. Suspect there's something hidden in Gerhard's grave. Do you think you could dig it up for me? Yes, Father Gerno. I want to help, but I don't think I should unless he says it's alright. Bulkbird is a kind man, and he always wants to help, but he's also very credulous. Deceiving him would be easy, but... It would be a noble lie, Andreas. You are seeking a just end. The abbot learns you disturbed Gerhard's grave. Bulkbird will be the one who faces his wrath. True. What's in his grave could help me prove Ferenc's guilt and Piero's innocence. I don't think he could, I could live with myself if Piero lost his head for the sake of my principles. Yes, I definitely did talk to the abbot. He says it's fine, but don't ask him about it. Well, that's good then. I don't like talking to the abbot. It makes me nervous. Not so frightening. He just has a lot of responsibilities. It makes him brusque. Me too. He's always on edge, and that puts me on edge. Can we talk about this later? I'm afraid time is of the essence. I always feel like I'm in trouble when he talks to me, even when I'm not sure what I did wrong. Digging up the body will take a few hours, I think. You want to start now? Not quite yet, I'll come back when I'm ready. Whenever you need me, Andreas. Hey, duck. I think I have to do this now, no supper. Wait, what? What do I need? Do I have to do it tomorrow? Is it too late right now? What's going on? There's no way, right? Maybe I need to find a... ...devil? I don't... I don't get it. What do I need? Is it in the 
to know the journal? It's in occult hands, right? Rick's house, I discovered. I need to convince Brother Volker to help me dig up the grave, or maybe, maybe Otto Zimmerman would be willing to help. Well, I shouldn't have lied to bro. I could have just got Otto to do it. I kind of forgot that was an option. Maybe I still can. Hopefully I still can. I'm sure Otto would love to do that too. He hates the Abbot. Abbot? He hates the Abbey. I don't know if he hates the Abbot. Okay, we're on the widow. Nope. Otto. Maybe the other old Otto? Maybe they're just stuck on upper dialogue? Look. Well, since I can't do that right now, I think. I think I just eat uh, I just eat auto. I think I just eat supper with someone. It's probably not until tomorrow, right? Eat supper with Lucky. I'm wondering if I might break bread with you and Agnes. We've never shared a meal. I don't see why not. Agnes will be glad to have you. Is now good? That'd be great. I keep her waiting then. Bless us, O Lord, and these your gifts, which we are about to receive from your bounty. And we pray you keep safe the souls of the two innocents who rest at your side. They are dearly missed. O through Christ our Lord, Amen. Amen. You're looking tired, Agnes. Did Elsa keep you up late? I don't mind. She needs the support, and I'm glad to give it. I'm happy to give it. Someone has to look after the women of this town, and Werner hardly cares to. Did something happen to Elsa? She lost a child a few weeks back. She was overjoyed when she finally quickened. Her bleeding returned soon after. Thickened? It has been difficult for her, but she has been through it before. She will make it through again. Unlucky. Trout? This is pretty good. She is strong in her love of Christ and in love of her husband. She does dote on him, though. Lenhart hardly deserves it. Though Lenhart hardly deserves it. Oh. The Miller's wife. I wonder if that child's a bastard son then. Pretty is a cruel man who drives a hard bargain with the peasants. Do not take you for a gossip, Andreas. Curious about the town, is that so wrong? Don't listen to my be you remembered. Don't listen to my husband. He is far too upright and noble for his own good. Spreading rumors is not Christian behavior. And Hart is cruel to his wife and the peasants both. There's no denying that. Take it as a caution, Andreas. Don't get on the Miller's bad side. The best thing we can do for Elsa is to care for her as neighbors like Christ would do. He isn't the only one in Tassing who struggles in her marriage. Even my Brigitte has her troubles. Clara mentioned Brigitte and Martine were having difficulties. She should never have agreed to their marriage. She deserves better than Martine Bauer. 
We loved him, Lucky, and she had to marry sometime. What could we do? Find a man who isn't such a useless shit? Let's go, Lucky. At last, we got Wolf out of it. Or at least we got Wolf out of it. I'll make sure he grows up solid. He'll become a great stonemason. Just like his grandpa. Eat the bread. Now why don't you tell Andreas about your work at the Abbey? Said you found something strange in the building? Oh, we just found the fucking secret exit. I was repairing a cracked wall down in the crypt. The Abbey used to be a Roman fort, right? So it's no spring hen. I bumped into a relief of the Virgin and a door slid open. It's the damnedest thing. I discovered the same thing. Fascinating architectural detail to be sure. That old Abbey's full of secrets, make no mistake. Anyway, stuck my head up through the trap door and found one of the nuns screamed. One of the nuns screamed. He didn't tell me that part. Felt bad for scaring them. Speaking of nuns, I haven't seen Zidana in like, fucking like, three months. Must have frightened Sister Illuminata half to death. That sister's the denim minded. She's not exactly afraid of men. Probably Illuminata. Probably should have knocked first. Never know what you'll find behind a closed door. Speaking of work, I should get back to it. Still lost the fix after that storm. It was, a love it was lovely having you, Andreas. Will be remembered. Take care, Agnes. Lucky. Thank you for your hospitality. See you around the Abbey, I expect. And sleep. Hello, Andreas. What's up, Lucky? Um, maybe I can dig up. Maybe I was waiting for them to go to sleep so I could dig it up. I doubt Otto's awake. Right, this was a lot. Okay. Or maybe I just have to wait until tomorrow? Who knows? Fuck, I f did I forget to go through the secret door during the day? I'm fucking up. I haven't worked on my masterpiece at all either. Not gonna be able to complete it. Waste it. That stain is awful. It must have been left by the Baron before he died, but how? He slumped back onto it. Duh. A giant gash in his head. And cellar, refractory, animal pens. I think the dorms are over here, right? Nope. Where were the dorms? Where the homies eat? Dormitories closed. Damn, the lightning bugs. Can't do anything there, unfortunately. Anyone in the scriptorium? What is the Christian thing to do in this position? Oh. I don't. Someone was in a hurry to get rid of this parchment. It smells recent. Probably wasn't burned more than a day ago. Burned? No. Hold on. Wrong button. Hey. Found the burned remnants of a note in Pry Ferenc's house. It's unclear what the contents of the note were, but it was written in purple ink with exceptionally fine lettering.
I don't think I've found enough evidence. I think Brother Piero is going to end up dead. Matthew. What is it you think you're doing, Master Mailer? Fair innocently. Stay away from the sacristy. You know you're not allowed in there. You know me, I just like to take a peek where I'm not allowed. What a uniquely fascinating and endearing trait. Stay out. Of course, my apologies. Thank you, Master Mailer. Alright, right, right, right. Oh, I can't go back up? Cringe. Never go up the tower. I did. It's the bells. I wonder why I couldn't dig up the grave, though. Seems like an odd thing to lock you out of doing. This light's on here. Well, finally, Cecilia. to talk to you again about the Baron. You walked away with... Oh, you walked away with the sisters when he arrived. Given that the Baron was just murdered. Seems worth inquiring about the cause. Why? You not trust in the Abbot's judgment? Not the Abbot's judgment that matters, but the Archdeacon's. Not that, I just want to understand what happens. What's happened? Oh, of course I don't. Brother Piero, he wouldn't hurt a mouse. All too true, but you must proceed carefully in your inquiries. The abbot does not want anything to interfere with the Archdeacon's investigation. That includes you. How do you feel about interfering with it? Andreas, this is not a joke. The abbot is concerned for the future of the abbey with good reason. Why should saving an innocent man's life threaten the Abbey? The Archdeacons leaves here without determining who killed Baron Rothbogel and will draw the attention and ire of the Prince Bishop of Phrasing. Then help me determine who the real killer is. I'm simply a nun. Why do you think I can help you? You know what happens at this Abbey better than anyone. Better than the Abbot? Yes. The yeah, abbot sees only the brother's side. You need to watch over the sisters and know what's happening with the brothers. True. Alright, I did have reason to be concerned about Baron Rothbogel's presence. The Baron caused irreparable harm to one of our, one of the sisters on his last visit. The damage was severe enough that she had to leave us for some time. Is it Sister Matilda? Matilda told me. Of course. What happened to Sister Matilda was tragic. Lorenz, the Baron, tried to seduce Sister Matilda. He rebuked him several times. But one morning, he attacked her in the meadow on her way to town. He dragged her into the woods. Sister Matilda is a strong woman, but her resistance was met with violence. When pilgrims to the shrine found her, she had been beaten so badly she could barely move. I'm assuming the Baron didn't suffer any consequences for this attack. No, I knew he wouldn't. I also knew that bringing the attack to the attention of Father Matthias would put him in an impossible position. The Baron would suffer no consequences, but the Abbot would have refused his continued patronage. He concealed the assailant's identity from the Father Abbot and had Sister Matilda taken to a hermitage near Minwald. Mittenwald, a small muni municipality known for its trans transalpine route. A small municipality known for its transalpine routes between Augsburg, Innsbruck, and Milan. Massive amounts of coin and trade pass through Mittenwald every year. 
He stayed there under the care of sisters until she recovered and could return. You really don't think the abbot would have taken action against the baron? How did Sister Matilda feel about seeing the baron again at Curcell? He deserved better than to be shuffled away to a hermitage. You're right, of course. I can only pray that the Lord will repay the debt that I incurred. How did Sister Matilda feel, feel about seeing the Baron again at Curso? Andreas, if you want me to tell you that, and I think Sister Matilda that I think Sister Matilda killed the Baron, I won't. Seeing him was hard for her, of course. He defended her virtue from the Baron, but her injuries were severe. Her body recovered in time, her mind. I don't know if it ever will. She still fights him in her dreams. She wakes in the night, screaming, soaked in her own sweat. What affected her, yes, it still affects her. That doesn't mean she wanted to kill the Baron. It certainly doesn't mean she actually did. Sister Matilda is, faith is a faithful servant and friend of Christ. I believe that truly, Andreas. She is respected and beloved by this community for good reason. I think Brother Waslav knew the Baron attacked her. He cautioned me against bringing her up with the Archdeacon. No, he didn't know. Perhaps it will come to light that the Baron has been murdered. God, I can't read. Perhaps it will come to light now that the Beak now that the Baron has been murdered. But she didn't tell him before. But their relationship is more than... They have a relationship. Andreas? He didn't know. She assured me. Told no one else all this time. No one. And if she chooses to tell anyone now, it hardly matters. I see. Do not mention, mention Sister Matilda to the Archdeacon, Andreas. I do not believe she could have done this. Of course. God bless you, Andreas. Irreparable harm. Is there anything else I can talk to her about? I think it just went into the other talking point mid conversation. So that's fine. Went to the convent, of course. I get a shovel. A finger. But yeah, Thursday, I don't know, I like roguelite night. I also really like Monster Hunter. We'll have to see how it turns out. I might just fucking flip a coin, see which one I do. Because I like two days of Pentiment. I don't think this can go on that long either. Or that much longer, rather. Uh, what's it called? That, uh, how long the complete thing says this is only 13 hours long. Well, it shouldn't be that long, right? Thought I could get a double whammy talking to Matilda or Attila. Attilia? Bower. Just return to the Gertners. There's probably no one else I can talk to. In late, I should get some rest. Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to save Piero. Not with the evidence I have. There was like one piece of dialogue I missed to be able to dig up that murder weapon I might just be pissed here comes the deacon oh I'm in here this isn't the deacon uh is this a dream Andreas, when are you coming home? Dad? I'll be home soon. 
Just need to finish this commission for the Abbey. Good, good. But finish that masterpiece too. Time for you to get on with your career. Yes, of course. You're not going to quit this like you quit university, are you? No, of course not. Good. If it weren't for the work I did for the Rector, you would never have had the opportunity. Most people never get a second chance after they throw something away like that. I know, Dad. We'll see you when you get back. Sure, alright. Bean. Oh, it's you. I only have the picture of you, the one my brother Daniel made. I really don't have any idea what you're like. Do you really want to get married to a stranger? Are you really that pretty? What are you like? Please don't imagine me telling you in your own mind. Why? You'll imagine I'm wonderful, or imagine I'm horrible. Either way, it's not fair to me, is it? The real you? And none of us. There. I'll see you soon, Andreas. For real, I mean. Suppose that's true. Till then. We have to wander around this maze. To go to the guillotine. Welcome back. Oh, this is just my mind palace. Welcome back, Andreas. It has been too long since you graced this court with your presence. Which one of these is my Zanpakuto? Apologies, your majesty. My mind has been preoccupied by a tragedy at Kyrsao Abbey. What manner of tragedy? The murder of a nobleman. A close friend of the Prince Bishop of Phrasing. My friend, Brother Piero, is the abbot's only suspect. I know that he could not have done it. In frames. How do you know? Examine your assumptions, my son. In addition to having no motive and violence not being part of his character, not physically capable of the act, he is of limited strength and has a palsy in his hand that makes holding a paintbrush difficult. It's inconceivable that he would have the strength and resolve to kill the Baron with a blow to the head. A whole lot of inconceivable shit happens on this hell of an earth, Andreas. I just don't believe he could have done it. There has to be a better explanation. So what do you intend to do about it? Why am I dropping so much frames? Someone trying to stream something? Dating on my computer. This is why I hate auto updates. Doesn't look like it. I'm brought before the Archdeacon. I'll tell him what I know about the people who had motives to kill a Baron. I have to believe he'll see there are much more likely suspects than Piero. Why have you taken this task upon yourself? I have to save Brother Piero's life. He has no one to else to help him. I want to find the real killer. The Archdeacon's investigation threatens the Abbey. I want to protect it. This shit keeps going red, man. Like, fluctuating between red and yellow over and over. I'm just gonna close everything I'm not using. Which is like one thing, but. This is mad annoying. I genuinely don't understand this. I shouldn't just be randomly dropping out of nowhere. Come on. I'm gonna try reconnecting, see if that fixes anything. Cause this is fucked. Please? 
Nope, it's still doing it. Whatever. Keep going. Have to see if the bot is fucked later. Your love for and devotion to him speak well of your character. A man who is humble before his elders honors also his gods. Of course he'd say that, old man. He is right though, if Andreas doesn't help him, no one will. Exactly. I understand why the brothers and sisters cannot act against the abbot, but I must do something. Why does that shit for Brain's abbot care about death of a useless fart like Lorenz Rothfogel anyway? Hey man. You're being too hard on the abbot. Baron may Baron had many good qualities. Just dropping so many frames. So annoying. Well, I can't disagree with your assessment of them. Powerful people get upset when other powerful people are murdered. This could threaten the existence of the Abbey. Oh no, the Abbey. Who gives a damn about those hypocritical assholes? True. In any case, Andreas' ability to prevent Piero's death depends on the judgment of the Archdeacon. Lies are foolish, corrupt or just. The Archdeacon will be the first and possibly final arbiter of Piero's guilt. Andreas must win the Archdeacon to his side using the tools favored by men such as him. Reason, wisdom, authority, honesty. Authority? Despite your talent, you are merely an artist. He has been invested with power by the Prince Bishop of Phrasing. You have no authority with him. Wisdom? Wisdom can be shared, but the audience may not comprehend it. Reason? When's the last time you met a man who was truly ruled by reason? Fuck on. Honesty? Maybe if I connect to the 2G... Maybe if I connect to the 2G, I won't... I don't know, I just gotta stop looking at it. It's just gonna drop frames over and over. I can't do anything about it. Reason, if reason, wisdom, authority, and honesty cannot triumph, what am I left with? Hope. Lies. Truth. Above all, faith and providence. Well, what do you plan to tell the Archdeacon, Andreas? There were other people in Kirsau and Tassin who had motives to kill the Baron. The widow Kemperin despised Lorenz for maiming her late husband. Maimed how? Baron beat him savagely following an argument about trespassing on the Kemper's farm. His injuries were so severe that they never truly healed. He needed a cane to walk. He died less than a year ago. Attila... Attilia is certain it's th because of the wounds he received that day. Why did the two quarrel? My understanding is that it was simply an argument about trespass that got out of hand. Now I suppose she will lose their home. My apologies, his home. For what reason? Did an aged widow not live out her remaining days in peace? He should. She won't. He didn't squeeze out any little Kempers for old Ranig. So go away goes the house. Yes, because women must fight to own property. We exist on the sufferance of men. Well, all, we all must abide by the same law. No, we don't. There's one law for your kind and another for mine. Men made the law, and it's within their power to unmake it. I think these pricks are going to hand over the power and wealth they've hoarded since time immemorial? Immemorial? No wonder your sex is so stunted. You don't have the balls to take what you're owed. Oh, Grobian, men and women are equal in most natures, but women are the weaker sex. This poses a difficult question that Andreas must answer. 
How could a woman of Attilia's age overpower a healthy man like the Baron? I wondered at that myself. Have you found anything that she could have used to kill the Baron? No, not yet. Oh, fucking... My models... Not connected anymore. That's just great. I love everything breaking at once. It's so fun. Fucker. Why am I dropping? Like, I haven't dropped frames in like two months. And here I am dropping like fucking 10k in a minute. I don't get it. Are there any others you suspect? Oops. Mr. Matilda was badly beaten by the Baron for resisting his advances. She almost died. I have to look at this to see if it's even watchable. Honestly. How was the Baron not punished for it? Seems the Baron was beyond the Rick of Justice. At least this reach of justice. At least this time. It won't be for long. Mother Cecilia sent Mother Batilda away to a hermitage to recover away from the rest of the nuns. How did you come to this understanding? Mother Cecilia told me that the Baron had harmed a nun during his last visit, but would not tell me more. I crept into the Abbey's library after dark and investigated the nun's admittance records to learn the sister's name. Oh yeah, this shit looks unwatchable. What is going- oh no, never mind. My phone's just trying to load. False alarm, maybe. Maybe? Maybe Twitch is fucking up. Once I knew the name, I confronted Mother Cecilia again and she told me what happened. You risked a great deal by trespassing in the library. Right, Andreas might have seen the monks and nuns fucking scandalous behavior. Lorenz couldn't get his way- <coughs> Fuck, everything. Lorenz couldn't get his way with the nun and he almost killed her for it. Wish I could say it's surprising. Sister Matilda's motive is a powerful one, but by what means might she have killed the Baron? She may have hit him with the shovel. She found a bloody shovel in the convent garden. She claims she used it to kill baby rabbits. A plausible weapon to be sure. A shame we can't, cannot confirm whether the blood on the tool belongs to Lorenz. Are there any others you suspect? Or if the rank appeared, the Baron would report his occult interests to his inquisitors. How so? Farrakh and the Baron shared a fascination with the occult texts. The Baron was pressuring the Prior into performing a ritual for him while he was visiting Kyrsel. When Farrakh refused, the Baron threatened to turn him into the Inquisition. How did you come to come by this knowledge? Found written evidence, a letter from Farrakh to the Baron in which he discusses all of these matters. It is a dangerous thing, a monk dabbling in the occult. His very soul could be in danger. Forget the soul. It could have been defrocked, excommunicated, even killed. All for a little curiosity. Better to stay stupid and ignorant, that's what I say. True. We're well aware. All of this worry over dangerous books starf- Starfed? Starfed? Started in the University of Paris shouldn't even be an issue out here. Whether the proclamation was made by a bishop of Paris or by the Pope himself, the danger remains. Prayer for Rank feared loss of his status, his life, and even God's grace. Men have killed for less. How might the prior have accomplished the deed? I'm not certain. I haven't found anything that I think he could have used as a weapon. It will be a challenge to convince the Archdeacon that the Prior committed a murder this foul. 
You mean to suggest that Barank is a suspect? You must find a weapon to convince the Archdeacon. Are there any others you suspect? Found no other suspects. You have brought a worthy mystery before this court, Andreas. I pray to God we have granted you the insight you need to face up this coming challenge. Thank you, your majesty. I am prepared to meet the day. Before you go, Andreas, there is one more thing to consider. You will be summoned to the Archdeacon to tell him what you know. But you need not tell him everything. What do you mean? It means you should only tell him about the people you don't mind dying. One way of putting it. There's a place for a noble lie. This is not one of them. Why? The Baron is dead. All of the people with the motive to kill him suffered, either directly or indirectly, from his wickedness. Simply mentioning a name to the Archdeacon may endanger them, whether they had anything to do with the murder or not. Right. No point throwing everyone's waist deep into shit. I protest any attempt to at deception. But you must ultimately follow your own conscience, Andreas. Little time remains before you must stand before the Archdeacon. Use it wisely. I must. Till we meet again, Andreas, God be with you. And also with you, your majesty. This dude's kind of insane. Prime. Damn, I missed breakfast. Time to get back to work. What's up, Ursula? So stupid, I see. Ava, Clara. Peter, Andreas, Big York, what do you want? Hey Andreas. Hail Peter, God bless you. Damn, zero latency mode is actually zero latency. Hans, hello. Johan, hey there Andreas. Eddie, Veronica. Tilia. Well, if it isn't the late Baron's new best friend, nice to meet you too, Otilia. Morning, I'm glad to find you in such a good mood. Pity boy, I think you're so clever. What do you want? You must be bothering me for something. I want to ask some questions about Lorenz Rothbogel's murder. Not the first time Percha answered my call. Percha. You want to know what I think? I'm glad he's dead. Hope whoever killed him gets the abbot next. Maybe burns that entire abbey to the ground. That's all I have to say about it. I already know what happened to Ranig. You do, do you? And what do you want with me? I want to hear your version of what happened. What did I just tell you, boy? I don't have anything else to say on the matter. The life of an innocent man is at stake. One of the elderly brothers. Can you spare me a few minutes? Think I care about what happens to some old monk? Idiot. Kill them all. See if I care. Every agent of the church should die. Where's this anger coming from? Is it something I can help with? No. Well, maybe. Don't suppose those skinny arms of yours can hold more than a paintbrush? Not as strong as Otto, but I can lift things and reach high places if that's what you need. Not often someone offers to help out old Attilia. Fine, you do some things for me, maybe it'll jog my memory. But it's going to take a while. Lots of things been building up. Things too old to do. Things I'm too old to do. You got some place to be? I'll be back later to help. Sure you will, that's what they always say. Don't let the door hit your ass on the way out. Shut up. I could set you up for murder easy. Brigitte, France. Cat. No one I need to talk to. The Zimmerman house. Otto, hey Andreas. Old Otto's not here. We go up? Nope.
Okay, looks like it was just a bad spot with Twitch. Hello, Andreas. Hello, Andres. What's up with the bakery? Not open. Ulrich. Anna. Brett. Nobody wants to speak. Imagine being a bread maker. Oh. Hello, Mailer. Stoltos. Guess I gotta be friends with this asshole to get in. Not gonna do that. Oh, Mason. What's up, Agnes? Nothing to talk to. Lucky. Hello, Andreas. Something you need? Nothing occurred to me while we were eating. Andreas, I have things to do. Father Thomas needs me to help out the church. After that, I'm going fishing with old Otto. You don't need me to repair a All are full and chimney. Leave me be. See so your busy soul. Keep it brief. Hope to ask you a few questions about Baron Rothbogel. Don't think so. Why not? Don't want to. You're a grown man. That should be reason enough for you. Saw you shouting at the Baron when you arrived in Tassing. What was that about? Andreas? A man is dead, Lucky, and another's life hangs in the balance. Christ compels us to speak honestly, neighbor to neighbor. God damn it, Andreas. I told you to leave me be. Christ has nothing to do with it. He already told me he didn't want to talk about Lorenz. It's clear they argued over something important or Lucky wouldn't be so hostile. He is known to be an honest man, maybe I can push him just a little more. I suppose he'll be taken kindly to my suggestion of murder. Did you kill him, Lucky? Is that why you won't talk about it? I have nothing more to say to you. Don't bother me again. He was not being forthright with me and he seems eager to get away. If I wait here, maybe he'll leave and I can observe his actions. Should I do it? Now? It'll probably take a while. I don't think Lucky did it. I probably shouldn't have done that. Too late to take back my actions. Klaus. Fuck the printing press. Written word is always better. Central town. Nope. Tomas. Or you went here. Think. Going on at the mill. Elsa. Ow. Oh. Unheart. Going on to the Roman ruins. What if Paul's dead child? What if Paul's dead brother is in that trip? Maybe he caused the cave in. Maybe Paul isn't as innocent as he seems. Perhaps Paul is the murderer. Who the fuck are you? Richard? You need something, Master Mailer? No, but thank you. But let me out. Slav. Hey, Master Mailer. Rickart? Richard? What? I haven't seen you around before. Who are you? The Executioner. Got a problem? Name's Richard. You care to know? Pleasure. Is it? I'll likely kill one of your townsfolk. That is what the law and Arctic can decide. Enforcing the law. I shouldn't let that affect how I see another Christian. Dastler wouldn't bring me here if it weren't already decided. They just have to decide whose head I'm hacking. God willing, the right one. I get paid either way. Folk will cheer for death as readily as anything else if they think the bastard deserved it. Doesn't seem particularly effective though. Does it ever bother you seeing people shout for another's death? Why should it? Besides a few pints and I've besides, a few pints and I forget their faces anyway. God, I could use a drink. 
I'll leave you to it then. This guy seems cool. I wouldn't mind having a plant with him later. Old auto. Guess I lost out on the chance to have one of the autos pick up the grave. Lay the flowers just like that, birdie. Did I pick them okay? You think Saint Satia will like them? They're perfect. She'll like them very much. Hello, Marie. Bert, I didn't expect you to... I didn't expect to see you here. Beautiful bunch of flowers, Bert. Did you gather them yourself? Yes. I like the purple ones most. They're handsome flowers. We don't have the... We don't have these where I'm from, you know. Are you leaving them for Saint Satia? Bird used flowers, yes, and the last of the fall's apples. Many of our store rotted when the spring damp came, but not this one. It seemed appropriate to bring it here for her. You know the story of Saint Satia, Andreas? Brother Matthew mentioned her when he told me this, the history of Saint Moritz. And that held the Holy Lance. He is very dear to us, as dear as the famed St. Moritz, but it's not as widely known. Not thoughtfully. Passing is blessed to have been founded on a great trade road, on fertile land, close to the Lord here in the Alps. There have been no place like it, that's true. This was once a pagan village. St. Moritz showed in, flowed in during a bad winter. Brought the town to the Lord with the aid of Saint Satia. Satia was the daughter of the town leader, and the first of the pagans moved to convert. 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 He led Saint Moritz to a spring, and when he baptized her, the earth grew lush, green, rich with fruit. What fruit? Big, juicy apples. And pears. Yes, sweet. Pears, gooseberries, currants, currants, apples, and other fruits native to places Satia had never seen. Moritz and his starving men were saved by this miracle, and the town was brought to Christ's side. In a way, they were all saved that day. What happened to Saint Satia in the end? She was martyred for her faith. But I feel she is with us still, don't you, Bert? And the tree. The tree? Grown from an acorn fallen off the tree that provided the kindling for Satia's pyre. Through God's grace, she is always here with us, working her miracles. She seems very important to you. My bad, I had to take a drink. It's through her work and the Lord's grace that I have the life I do now. I owe all the joy in my life to her. What do you mean? I appreciate you hearing- I appreciate you sharing that with Marie. I'll have to consider it on my walk. When Klaus and I first married, we struggled for years to start our family. I was distraught. I wanted a child desperately. I brought an offering to Saint Satia and prayed to be touched by her miracle of life. We were blessed with Bert here. I came from the tree. That explains your wild disposition. My little scamp. It has been some years since his birth and we are struggling again. I'm hoping that Seisha and the Lord will once again bless us with a child. Perhaps a daughter. I hope that for you and Klaus as well, Mar Marie. You are wonderful parents. Thank you, Andreas. You're a good man and a good friend to my husband. We shouldn't keep you any longer. I hope you found peace here with us and with Saint Satia. Till later, Marie. Till later, Bert. Until later. Cool. Got some lore. Can I steal the apple? Seems like a good place to hide a body, though. Maybe in a future run? Or maybe another murder? Maybe this is just a murder mystery game. Into the guest house. 
Lady Salome is not even gonna speak anymore. Crazy. But, for real, I haven't finished a game on this channel for what seems like an eternity, so I really want to finish Pentiment. And it is entertaining. To me, at least. Though it does hurt my throat. And I do feel like my voice isn't consistent throughout the entire three hour period. We'll be, we'll be figuring it out. Eventually. You have to ponder on what I'm gonna replace it with though. Once this run is over. She's evil. She is seducing a, a monk. It ain't gonna end well for Rudiger. Did he ever come back? Let's see if I can't get into the crypt. Maybe I can sneak in now. Motherfucker. Come on. Let me seize a den up, bro. We've been separated too long. Old Bailey. The scriptorium. I think if I go in there, it's gives more time, right? Maybe. Try for rank, you asshole. Cemetery had a looking glass on it. And I have to find the dude who's gonna dig it up, man. I don't know where he's- where he chills it. What's up, Sabat? Give you health, you too, bro. I think I remember him being with the animals, right? Issue is they always move around. I see you. Wolfert, what's up, bro? Prepare, commence the exhumation. Um, what? Let's start digging. Alright, I'll get the shovel. How long have you been doing this, brother Volpert? Well, just since you asked me to... Well, just since you asked me to when we came here. Oh, I mean, how long have you been digging graves here at the Abbey? Well, less than a year, a man from the village used to dig the graves. After Father Matthias died, Father Gurno said one of the brothers could do it. And you were the lucky brother? Did you bury Father Matthias? I was the youngest. I do most of the digging, and cleaning around the abbey, anyway. Brother Matthias said we all have the same vacation. We all must work and pray. Brother Piero paints, I dig. Both are pleasing to the Lord. But is it pleasing to you? It's one way to look at it, I suppose. Promise you won't tell Father Gurno? My lips are sealed, Brother Volpert. I don't like digging. It makes my back hurt. Sometimes I think the other brothers ask me to do it painful things because they don't want to do it themselves. I shouldn't complain. I should be grateful to have a place here that's what Brother Gr that's what Brother Guy says. I should get back to digging. Briarfrank says that idle hands are the devil's tools. This is going to take me a while. 
Have you read all the gravestones? There's some really old ones. This unlocks gravestone lore. Father Matthias. Otter Matthias de Geneva Abbas. Who knows? I don't read that. His headstone is wood. Aren't abbots usually buried with more marvel? I think you're right. I think all of the other abbots in the crypt. All the other abbots are in the crypt or under the church. Father Gruno said we can't afford to build something special for Father Matthias. Place him in the crypt with a marble nameplate? That can't be more than 50, 60 groschen at most. If you say so, I don't know anything about it. Father Abbot and Pry for Rank handle all of that. Still don't understand why Father Matthias died. We were eating dinner and he got sick. It happened so fast. Didn't know him that long, but I miss him. Sounds like he was poisoned. Did you know Brother Jacob from Cologne? Algone? No, he died before I came here. Brother Waslav said he was the funniest man he ever knew. Brother Piero and Brother Adok agreed. A funny monk? They said he could make his voice sound like any of the other brothers, even Father Matthias. Yet he had a face like clay, he could turn it into all sorts of funny shapes. Some of the brothers laugh at me, but I don't think I'm funny. I like Brother Jacob was. Who laughs at you? Brother Guy and Sister Zdena, maybe some of the others. Sometimes they tell jokes and I don't understand what's funny. When I ask, I don't know if they're laughing at the joke or laughing at me. Don't let people be mean to you, Volkert. Not so bad. Besides, I'm a burden to the Abbey. I'm lucky the Abbot lets me stay here. But it's alright. Brother Waslav doesn't let them hurt me. He's always nicest to me. I have to give Brother Volkert some money, bro. Mother Brunhild? Atissa? Huh? No one's buried there. That's just a marker from a long time ago. I need to move it somewhere. Yes, the 12th century, but Abbotissa Kersau used to be run by an abbess? I don't know. I wasn't there. Father Gurno must know. I don't want to get in trouble. On my honor as an artist, Volkert, all will be well. Good, I trust you. You're a good friend, Andreas. Oh shit. Look, here comes Brother Matthew. Ah hell, we're destined for an end it here, fool. Shit. Matthew's not going to like this. Aye, but Volkert will take the brunt of his wrath. Volkert is a good person, and I don't want to take advantage of him, but... Volkert was very concerned about losing his place at the Abbey. Even if he doesn't get in trouble, this will cause him some distress. Read the clue that unlocks the truth about killed their ends. I can just threaten to release his secret. It's all well met here. We're digging up a grave, how are you? For what purpose? The abbot gave his permission, the rest is not your business. Someone has disturbed this grave and I suspect is connected with the Baron's murder. To solve a mystery. Memory serves, Father Gurno expressly forbade you your involvement in any mystery solving on Abbey premises. As the circuitor, monk responsible for making the rounds in the Abbey to make certain everyone is where they are supposed to be doing what they're supposed to do. My duty to prevent per mischief such as this. Or it's her background. I made such a convincing case, the abbot couldn't help but humor me. Like the mischief you and Rudiger left. I don't wanna. Thank you, convincing case. Admit it, Brother Matthew, this grave situation is very strange. Whatever you think about my involvement. Have you been coerced into this, Brother Volkbert? No, I mean, Andreas asked me and he promised Father Abbot said it was alright, and Andreas is my friend, and... Am I in trouble, Brother Matthew? It was very irregular, but 
So long as the abbot approved, it's not my place to gainsay him. Clean up when you're done, please. Alright, saved. That was scary. Who would have guessed that your small man could hold such belligerence? What? An aggressive attitude, like a cornered weasel or a rabid dog. He does look like a weasel. True. Or a mole. Think I'm going to get in trouble? It'll be fine, Brother Volkert. Father Gurno won't punish you for what I asked you to do. Oh, sure. Sorry. One final grave. Sister Maria, the librarian. She must have been from before your time here. Oh yes, Mother Cecilia liked Sister Maria very much. All of the older sisters say she was a sweet woman who loved the Lord. I'll be digging her up soon. Off of the crypt. Brothers and sisters are buried here until their bodies turn into bones. Then I dig them up and take them to the crypt. We don't have much space here, you know. Andreas, I've reached Brother Gerhard, but... Yes, is something wrong with the body? No, I don't think so, but there's a sack down here too. Kind of... let me see it. Yeah. Oh, arcane tools. They could serve no other purpose. Tools? Like this shovel? Not quite. Magic tools. You are plated with precious metals and engraved silver chased rod and a golden plate. The rod has symbols of the zodiac on it. The plate has some script I don't recognize. And a knife. Seems ordinary enough. Together with the other two? Buried here? Why would someone bury those things here? Because they didn't want them to be found. Because they're forbidden. Wait, there's blood in some of the symbols on this rod. Tried to be certain, but not that old. Frank tried cleaning this, but wasn't able to remove it all. Could this be what was used to kill the wrens? Is the devil's work, Andreas? Very well be that the devil himself is behind this fulcrum. No, God help us. The devil called man. No, Brother Volkert, there's no question a creature of flesh and blood did this. Oh, who? I can't tell you, Volkert, I'm sorry. Why not? What's going on? I don't understand. That's what I need to figure out, Brother Volkert. Thank you for your help. Damn. Eat. Find someone to eat with. You're fucked, buddy. You're done for. Maybe now I can sneak in. I just want to talk to Zidana so bad. This was like my quest for this run. And I'm just ignoring it. Yeah. Again, this is just places I can eat. Cringe. Monstrance, Chalice, Patton, Sibirum, and Purificator. Almost everything you need for mass other than the host. Probably where the funds of the Abbey are stored, the sacristy also holds the treasury. The armories hold all of the something. My bad. Thought I'd be able to speed up the text, but apparently not. You are fucked, Frank. Chris, may I help you with anything? Found a strange note in your fireplace. It was written in an unusually fine script. Found others around tasking with the same hand that seemed to have appeared out of nowhere. What were you doing in my home? Called out your name and thought I heard a scream inside. Feared you were being gruesomely murdered, so I let myself in. Well, next time, don't. Rather, I let you be killed in cold blood, prior Frank. Impossible. Any person of manners knows better than to go snooping through others' things. I have nothing to hide. 
and the white burns a note. What was left was difficult to read, but I can make out the red bird, Martin, Matins. It's a strange little thing I found on my desk after waking up for Matins. It meant nothing to me, so I put it in the fire. Isn't there when you went to sleep? Not that I noticed, but again, Andreas, it was small. I could have easily overlooked it. Surely it's just a loose scrap, but the hand was handsome, you're correct. Unlike anything penned by the brothers in the scriptorium to be certain. Unsettling. Do you remember what the note said? It was access to your home. Everyone at this abbey, but what does it matter to you? It was just a scrap of paper. Not sure yet, I just have a strange feeling about it. I found a similar note in the Barons of Pax while Brother Florian. I can't. I love Florian. Perhaps you should pray to the Lord. Perhaps you should pray the Lord settles your spirit so I might find some quiet. Don't you find the coincidence strange? No. We operate a scriptorium, Mr. Mailer. And how's perhaps the largest library in Bavaria? Let me just fix my fucking head real quick. I'm looking up for some reason. We are washed in parchment scraps. They multiply like silverfish between the pages of our books. Are you satisfied now? you remember what the note said? One more thing. No, only that I found contents nonsensical and disturbing. The remaining legible part, the red bird. You don't know what that could be? Scrap from some bestiary? I couldn't say. I eyes watched the heavens, not the trees. But we do see many red birds at this altitude. The common robin, perhaps. A swallow? That doesn't matter. I'm telling you it was nonsense. I suppose that will have to do. Thank you. Excellent. Are we done here? I'll leave you in peace. Bye, Brother Frank. You will. Why I thought I was hearing shit. But Frank is definitely dying. Do not care a lick about him. Abattoir. No thanks. Brother, am I gonna eat with though? Don't care about your dog, bro. What time is it? Is it maintenance? Is that what this time is? I think I can't check. I think it is. You know. Fuck off, loser. Was I not supposed to speak with Bro today? What happened? What's up? No, don't want to speak. I get it, I get it. Jordan, no. Moratorium? Refectory dormitory? No one is here. Probably all eating lunch. As I should do. Who's chilling in the shrine? Nobody. Element Garden, Gertrude, Hilda, Marguerite, 
so fee until the I guess this is if you're late. What's this? Why do I keep coming here? None of these nuns ever speak. Ben is locked in the library and doesn't want to talk either. Forest? No. Hate all these people, man. One heart, all. We'll see. Damn. They don't offer to eat with a commoner like me. I see how it is. Eldado. Mariato, I don't want to eat your in hot dogs and water. This makes me think, is there anyone even worth eating with right now? I think I ate with the Albans one time, right? Maybe? I don't even with the Gertners, I ate with them all the time. I do think I... Did I eat with them? Had to have, right? No, I don't think I did. Kind of you to ask. I'd love to. Grit. Lovely. I'll lay out a fine spread for us. It's been so long since we have a... We've had a guest who isn't Father Thomas. He'll be joining us today, too. Bless us, O Lord, and these your gifts which we are about to receive from your bounty. For Christ our Lord, Amen. Amen. Is that a pretzel? I want a pretzel. Thank you for joining us, Father Thomas. It's an honor to have you at our table. Please, Ulrich, there's no need to stand on ceremony. You know I enjoy sharing a meal with you and your family. Especially when Kret serves her eye. God bless you, Father, you're too kind. How has Peter been lately, Andreas? Bad mood, but nothing unusual for him. Most of the peasants are in a bad mood. Between the miller and the abbot's taxes, they're in a hard place. More than a few of the families are having difficulty paying their bills. I can offer them credit, but I worry about the town's future when times are so hard for them. If you don't make them pay what they owe, they will only take advantage of you. The Gertners are struggling to pay their taxes since the abbot ra raised them. It's Christian of you to extend them credit. It's made more difficult because the abbot won't allow them to pay in kind with their crops. Between the abbot's taxes and Lenhardt's fees at the mill, they're struggling. Pretzel. If I can give them some relief, I must provide it joyfully. Say nothing. You have a kind heart, Ulrich. Perhaps too kind, though. I do love that about you. Could this really be your concern, Ulrich? The peasants are unhappy with their taxes, or the miller's fee, they can propose a change. Under Bavarian law, they would have no ground. It would amount to little more than a complaint with no legal weight. And Hart does not seem the type of man to compromise for the sake of others. They can't they have no leverage, father. Why? Can they not speak Christian to Christian? Well, in any case, is the miller not entitled to recompense for his labors? the abbot not entitled to taxes as the rightful lord of the land? This is the way it has always been, will always be. Lenhart takes more than his fare. Lenhart takes more than his fare. His behavior is not Christ-like. Who will be the one to judge him, Ulrich Elban? 
Well, you judge the abbot as well. Jeez. There's no matter to tease about. The peasants are suffering. The causes are plain to see. Your concern is admirable, Ulrich, but take care in how you speak about this. May I suggest that you speak to him on the peasant's behalf? Don't make accusations, but share your concerns. I have not found him to be an unreasonable man. With all respect, Father, I have been dealing with Lenhart Miller and his father for over 20 years. I know the character of the Miller man. Kindness and reason are not in their nature. God's love is within all of us, Ulrich, even Lenhart Miller. Andreas, don't you think Ulrich should try reasoning with him? Why bother? He's an awful man. He's right. Come now, that attitude is hardly helpful to anyone. Oh, did I mention that Sister Matilda came by today to buy bread for the sisters? No, you did not, Grit. She had a dark cloud over her. I think the Baron's death has upset many of the brothers and sisters in the Abbey. He was probably worried about the future of the Abbey. The Abbey in danger? I had no idea. The faith, Grit. The Abbey will endure, as it always has. Sister Matilda seems so strong. I don't think I've seen her like this before. Do you speak to her often? Yes, when she comes to buy bread. The Abbey can make some of their own, but we provide the rest. She walks with that bohemian monk, Brother Waslav. He makes her laugh. Oh my heart, that's lovely. It's not appropriate. But Father, surely friendship between a brother and sister united in Christ alright, isn't it? Not if they are sworn to celibacy, no. Troubling, perhaps. I should speak to Father Gerno about it. Clear throat. Well, that was an excellent meal, Grit. Thank you so much for inviting me to your home. Of course, Father. We're always honored to have you. As you say, I suppose. Well, I should get back to the counter. The bear... Bowerin ladies will be by for their bread soon. Thank you for a seat at your table. It's our pleasure. Ulrich looks pissed, but I guess he's a cool dude. Hello, Andreas. Anna. Hi. Bell ringing. I think that means I have to go to the Abbey. Time for the abbot to die. Not the abbot, the friar. Time for the friar to die. Beheaded by the executioner. You're gonna come to watch your husband's murderer die? Miss Salamea? Guess not. Over the weekend, not over the weekend, but a few days ago, I, uh, I guess that's the weekend. I, uh, found out there's several Power Rangers board games. I knew about the RPG, like the RPG module to make it into tabletop. But I didn't know there was a deck builder. And I also didn't know that there was a... What's it called? Just like a full-on board game with mad expansions. Blister. Why is Ulrich here? I guess everyone was summoned, right? Okay, Marguerite, Gertrude, Adok. Eddie and Veronica. Eddie. Everyone's out. Matthew. God bless you, Andreas. Can I get out to the crypt yet, bro? Let me sneak up. Let me talk to my wife. I 
annoying. Bro. Let me play the game how I want. Fuck you, Freyer. Let me talk to my wife. Rank, you dickhead. Nah. The Volpert. Think there's anything I can do? All this rabble. Please state your name for our records. Chris Mailer, art artist recently began. Chris Mailer, journeyman artist from Nuremberg. Yes, yeah, I'm Joseph Mailer, master artist from Nuremberg. Really? What brought you all the way to Upper Bavaria? Is that a bad this will be remembered? Heading back to Nuremberg to finish my apprenticeship and will open a workshop. It's the end of my wander year. So where work takes me, your reverence. Very well, thank you. Arnold, please write that down. I think we're ready to begin. Of course, your reverence. Now then, Master Mailer, what was your relation to Lorenz, the Baron of Rothbogel? I only knew him for a day, but we were on friendly terms. You feel you had a bad sense of him as a person? No, your reverence. That is unfortunate, but I'd like you to try to characterize the man for me. Fine man, a lover of art and knowledge. Noble man for all the good and ill that goes along with that title. Confident, overbearing, used to getting what he wants. You think someone would kill him for that? Someone, perhaps. Lead more than perhaps. Someone had a... Had to have a reason for it. Someone had to have a reason, if not that, something else. Otherwise, it makes my presence here somewhat difficult to explain. Baron Rothbogel was murdered here, in this very room. Someone did it. Father Gurno believes it was one of his monks, Brother Piero. I have met with Brother Piero and questioned him at length. While it seems unlikely that a man of his age and temperament could murder the Baron, it was discovered in flagrant the so. Technically, he discovered the corpus delicti, delicti. Body of the crime, sometimes literal, often figurative. The principle that must be proven to establish crime had disappeared. What was not caught in flagrant delicto. Master Mailer, I am not interested in your clarifications, technical or otherwise, on matters of Latin or law. If you wish to advocate on behalf of Brother Piero, I suggest shutting your mouth until I ask you a question. Piero had reasons to resent the Baron, the loss of his work, the insistence on discussing the writings of the troublemaker from Wittenberg. As for his age and infirmi infirmity, I myself have read many cases in which a man of modest strength comes to the temptations of the devil. Once seized by a devilish fever, the poor sinner gains an infer infernal power that allows him to inflict grievous wounds, sometimes fatal. What I am saying is... But in spite of the curious circumstances, Brother Piero is the most plausible perpetrator in the most vile act. I understand that you are on friendly terms with Brother Piero. You also interacted with the Baron both in the town and at the Abbey. Did you witness anything that suggests someone else could have murdered Baron with Vogel? Lucky argued, one of the nuns. Widow and Tassin. Abbey's prior parent was behaving suspiciously the day of the Baron's arrival. He may have had a motive. That is an extraordinary claim, Andreas. The abbot speaks highly of the prior, and he oversees both your and Brother Piero's work, does he not? Yes, but Prior Frank's role in the scriptorium has little bearing on his motive. An extraordinary claim requires extraordinary evidence for me to take it seriously. Why should I take the word of an artist over a respected officer in this abbey and provide evidence of Prior Frank's motive? Please do so. On the day that the Baron arrived, I secretly observed Prior Ferenc in the scriptorium, where the rough Bogle and Prior Ferenc were exchanging letters about performing a magical ritual during the Baron's visit. You have proof of this? I have a letter the Prior wrote to the Baron. 
In it, the prior mentions that he will not perform a ritual for the Baron, even if the Baron does follow through on a threat to implicate him to the Inquisitors in Innsbruck. Implication of necromancy is a serious matter. Prior's position would have been in peril, possibly even his life. How do you believe Prior Frank would have killed the Baron? I pray you will not say it was a magical ritual. I found a silver rod that belongs to Prior Frank. It has dried blood on it. Silver rod? Likely a magical tool of some sort. It is of a size and weight appropriate for the head wound that the Baron received. How did he come to possess this item? One of Prior Frank's concerned brethren delivered it to my keeping. I prefer to keep his name out of the records. Highly unusual, Master Mailer, but I will heed your request. Is there anything else to say about the prior? No, your reverence. Very well. Who else may have wanted to see the Baron dead? You know what? Whoever... I don't think... I don't want Lucky or Matilda to be implicated. Attilia, I don't give a shit about. Martin is a little shit, but he also has a wife and a kid. I can't implicate him. What, key, what cause did she have? The Baron was responsible for the death of her husband. Responsible how? Years ago, when the Baron visited Tassing, he quarreled with Renig Kemper. Those two came to blows, according to the Widow. The Baron beat Renig so severely that he never fully healed from the injuries. He died not too long ago, and their home is in legal jeopardy. The widow held the Baron responsible for all of this. And how do you propose this woman killed the Baron? He was not in the prime of his life, but certainly a robust man by all accounts. Even a healthy man can be killed by a blow to the back of the head. Yes, but with what? Honestly, I don't know. No murder weapon was found in the chapter house, nor has anyone discovered a weapon the widow could have used. It complicates the matter. You know anything else, else about the widow? Julia Kemperin was a good woman, but she has been weighed hard by what happened to her husband. She doesn't really seem to care if people suspect her of the murder. In many ways, it seems she has given up on life. Thank you for your candor, Mr. Mailer. Knowledge of anyone else? He's kind of a fucker. Can't think of anyone else who wants to bring harm to the Baron. Very well, are you aware of anything else that might have shed li some light on this case? His brother Florian told you about the note he found in the Baron's clothing. Yes, Brother Florian explained how he came to find it, and has told me its contents. Master Adel Jaeger has entered his testimony in our register. I don't understand the implications. Who is the innocent? Not clear to me either, your reverence. Do you believe the murderer wrote it? Whoever wrote it was a talented scribe. I understand Kirsau has two, the elderly brother Adok and the younger brother Guy. To be frank, your reverence, neither man has the skill to write in this way. There's something else about it, too. The style is just different. It's unlike Adok and Guy's writing. Unlike mine. Yes, well, whatever the particulars, it seems it will remain a mystery that stands apart from the commission of the murder. Unfortunately, there is more to tell. I found more notes. Notes written in the same hand, on the same type of parchment, to those who had a motive to kill the Baron. It is deeply troubling, but again, beyond the bounds of my investigation. In any case, I thank you for bringing it to my attention. Of course, your reverence. Thank you again for your time, Master Mailer. Would it be impertinent of me to opine on who the killer is? Not at all. You are an educated man and have con conducted yourself appropriately in this inquiry. I reserve final judgment, of course, but who do you believe killed the Baron? Considering all of the evidence... Julia Kemperin caused the Baron... Cursed the Baron when we were walking through the meadow. I need to find out why she hated him so much. The Widow's house is next to Prance Bowers. While eating with the Gertners, Ill Peter told me Attilia's husband, the late Rannick Kemper, had a run-in with the Baron. The Baron injured Rannick's badly. Ill Peter believes it may have resulted in his death. I talked to Widow Kemperin about Lorenzworth Vogel. Well, I tried to, but she only wanted to say that she was glad he died. Hope the abbot was next. Won't be able to get any more information out of her unless I help her around the house, it seems. There is so much for Frank. 
Just watch the fucking VODs if you want to know what the fuck happened. Frank's an asshole. It's Frank. I don't care. Pray for Frank, your reverence. Behavior on the day of the Baron's arrival revealed his anxiety about the situation. Others may have had motive, but Pray for Frank had the most to lose. Noted. Your contributions to this inquiry are appreciated. Thank you for your time and candor. You're quite welcome, your reverence. I wanted to help in any way I could. I know in my heart that Brother Piero is innocent. That could show my own motives. Quite welcome, your innocence. Something. Till later, Master Mailer. Till then, your reverence. Reverence, not innocence. Let's see. Did we win or did we lose? Andreas, I didn't think you were coming to this. I didn't think I was either. I suppose I wanted to see how it ends after all. It's the Prior of the Abbey. He can Let's go. He can believe it. Did you ever talk with him in the Abbey, Andreas? You missed the trial, Andreas. That Archdeacon read all of the charges and found him guilty. I worked with him almost every day, Clara. I didn't know he had murder in him. I don't think the- Oh, fuck that. Frank did it. Worked with him every day. He was obsessed with dark magic. It was only a matter of time before he got caught. About time, then. True. One sec. Uh... Oh, here comes the procession. Auto. Did I miss anything? No, you're fine. Oh, he's watching it with Eva. I see. Andreas. Otto. These loser ass knights. What's that hair, bro? Here he comes. Agnes Day. He told us something. I didn't do this. God knows it. Even if you do not. I'm not reading those chants. This can't be happening. This can't be happening. I wonder if he really didn't do it. That would be hilarious, bro. He's crying. Now I kind of feel bad. <laughs> but I would cry too if I was about to be executed and I did murder somebody. I order the executioner to carry out his duty. I warrant him peace and safe conduct, whatever may befall him. I'm watching. My god, my god. Hold still. Oh no, no. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Sparing no details. Executed as judgment and law required. For that, I thank God and my master who has taught me such art. I know this was your doing, Andreas. It was only a matter of time before Ferenc was caught for his interests. Get up with the Archdeacon, it has nothing to do with me. If you want to blame someone, blame yourself. Turn a blind eye to his activities for years. How dare you? Do you understand the presence I'm under? Keep this abbey together? Or the pressure I'm under? Does that mean you should ignore the fact that your prior studies black magic or that he killed a man? You are no longer welcome at Kiersau, Andreas Mailer. I'll send your final payment to the Gertners. May you have a long and successful career in Nuremberg. May you never travel this way again. Oh. Chapter so I have to not piss off that dude to get to chapter two, I guess. Andreas, has the time come for you to leave us? I'm afraid so, brother Piero. This farewell may have to be brief. Father Gerno made it clear I was no longer welcome at Curso. Maybe I'll have to seduce her another time. Produce I pray that time will soften Father Abbott's heart. Hope he eventually realizes you are only trying to help me. 
This is a sad parting, but inevitable. I had hoped you would stay a bit longer. Me too, bro. But the word world needs you more than Kirsau does. You have grown beyond this old abbey and become a master in your own right. I'll miss you, my son. Who will keep you out of trouble when I'm gone? Pray that is the last trouble I will see in my old age. I have God and you to thank for getting me out of it. Come, your masterpiece is complete. May I see it one last time before you go? Please, I value your assessment. The opinion of one old monk matters little. All the same, I am excited to see it finished at last. How's it look? God damn, bro. It's a masterpiece. Truly worthy of the world word. And it appears you took my advice to heart. What advice was that? Put yourself in the work. Not just to interpret another artist's work, but to transform it into something true. This shows the world as it is, as you have seen it, even it is, if it is not what we may want to see. Though it is, it is not my place to say so, I am proud of you, Andreas. What fell out? Uh oh, I'm... I knew I should have checked my fucking... I hate this game. A scrap of parchment. Do not return here. A warning? Oh, I guess... never mind. Whose hand is this? It doesn't look like Brother Adox or Brother Guy's. Brother Florian and I found a similar note in the Baron's clothing. I found more notes to deliver to others while I was investigating. Someone was trying to manipulate him into going to the chapter house in the middle of the night. They must have been written by someone who knew the darkest secrets of the town in this abbey. They triggered the, uh, They tugged at those secrets to kill the Baron, like someone pulling at the threads that have already been buried in the past. A frightening thought, but who would do such a thing? God knows. He does, and I hope his love can still the wickedness in the heart of whoever wrote this. Do not trouble yourself overly about it. Your future lies outside of these walls. Hope that you will have time to visit me once or twice in your travels before the Lord takes me. I'll come as often as I can. Assuming Father Gurno doesn't forbid it. You must have faith that better days lie ahead for all of us. God bless you, Andreas Mailer. Thank you for your friendship. Until next time. I... I guess I won? Are the credits gonna roll? Am I gonna meet my wife? Boom. That was... Was the prince, dude? Oh, no, it's... Me. Are you alright, Master Andreas? What? Are you alright, Master Andreas? Yes, thank you. I was just remembering him. Trying to, anyway. Doesn't come easily anymore. Oh, would you like me to leave you alone? No, no, Kespar. It's not necessary. There's nothing to be done about it now. It's too late. It's so many things. Andreas Mailer, I never expected to see your face here again. Have you been in Nuremberg for these last seven years? No, Nuremberg for a few years, but I received some lucrative commissions abroad. Poland? England, France, Aragon. Christmas some sp wait, it goes on more. I see. Aragon, Andres knows some Spanish and bits of Arabic and can reference cultural touchstones from Barcelona and Valencia. Chris knows France, French and can pres Andres knows French and can reference cultural touchstones from Paris, Wars and Dijon. Andreas knows some English and can reference cultural touchstones from London and other parts of Britain. Andreas knows some Polish, bits of Czech, Czech, and Hungarian. Can reference cultural touchstones from Krakow, Prague, and Buda. I think I already know French, right? Spanish and 
Arabic. Go to Poland, bro. Was in Krakow. Oh, the court of King Sig. See, this was a mistake. In Krakow, the court of King Sigismund. He was a he has a great passion for humanism as well as new Italian and German art. Did you have occasion to paint the king's physician, Jacob Isaac? Not to paint, but I did meet him. I was surprised to learn King Sigismund had ennobled him. An interesting man. You don't meet many Jews and nobility, in Poland or elsewhere. Poland is one of the few places Jews may live in peace. Provided the king doesn't have a change of heart. I'm surprised you care at all. In spite of your extensive travels and success, you're still not welcome at Kirsel. The yeah, abbot hasn't forgotten what happened. Seven years isn't all that long. I was just passing through on my way back to Nuremberg. I thought I'd stop in. I simply wanted to pay my respects to an old friend. Really, you understand that. I understand why Father Abbot expelled you from the abbey. What were you expecting? The hero's welcome? Fine, tell Father Gurno I'll be staying at the land house in town for a night or two before moving on. I didn't get Berenk killed if this is what this is about. The Archdeacon is the man who found him guilty. Should I be held responsible for it? Reyes, get out. Why is he so rude? Make a rude gesture and leave. Yeah, fuck guy. Loser. Guy. Revolution. Prime hours. That monk seemed unhappy to see you, Master Andreas. Why is the abbot so angry with you? Before the end of my stay in Tassing, there was a murder at Kirsau Abbey, a nobleman. Guessing this is my apprentice? Can't be my son, it's only been seven years. Father Gurno panicked and accused my friend, Brother Piero, of committing the crime. Helped convince the investigating archdeacon Archdeacon, that another monk was responsible, prayer for rank. No, it was a long time ago. I really don't want to talk about it. Oh. He was executed for the crime. Got someone killed? Was that or let an innocent man die? It's not much of a choice. Still, I would have been scared. Why didn't you mention it before? Well, I suppose it must have been a hard situation. The abbot's still this mad at you make some difficult choices. Maybe they were the wrong ones. I've had to live with that. Why did we come here if you're not welcome? Wants to pay my respects to Brother Piero. And to be honest, I'm not looking forward to returning to Nuremberg. This commission is an obscene vanity piece under the pretext of a religious scene. My patrons just want to celebrate themselves and their wealth. I dread each new commission more than the last. Every step I take toward home is agonizing. But, Master, you're a famous rich. Your work is wonderful. Sup, Shea Butter? Curious, how do you like the VR tuber thing? It's fun. It's cool. It's a little uh, annoying sometimes. Having to get everything set up. There's so many things that can go wrong. Like earlier. I had my cam just disconnect for some reason. Uh, I think I'm back. Sorry for that. Um, I think Twitch is having some problems. But I was saying, I use VTube Studio. Where's my internet? I think I'm back. I use VTube Studio. I use an old Android phone as my camera. I think iPhones have better face tracking, but you could also use a webcam. I think you do have to pay for like a $5 license. I don't remember what the price was. It was pretty cheap to be able to stream with it, but um, you have to have a model. I think they're free to use ones to just try out the technology. But, yeah, I think, like, that's about it for doing this. I made my own model. 
Uh, I also rigged it. Rigging is just attaching physics to a drawing and connecting them so you can move it properly and it doesn't look like a stick figure. But yeah, that's about all there is to VTubing. Getting it set up and all that. When I saw your altarpiece in Nuremberg, I begged my father to help me become your apprentice. I don't understand how you could accomplish that all that you have and be unhappy. My bad for the stream going out. I I don't think it's my internet. I think Twitch is just having problems. I know. It must be hard to believe I was once very much like you. All that I have accomplished is my work, yes. Now I am left hollow with nothing else left. Thought I wanted to be like my father, like my brothers. Thought that was my dream. Once I wanted this life so much that it consumed my every waking thought. I don't know if I've changed or if what I wanted was never really real. Maybe I've been a, f a fool this whole time. I want life as an artist to be better for you, Kaspar. Learn from my mistakes, alright? Alright, yes, Master Andreas. Shouldn't be burdening you with such dark thoughts, Kaspar. Come. Let's visit my old friend Klaus. It's been too long. As you like, Master Andreas. But yeah, if you're still here, I'd suggest just downloading VTube Studio and using whatever you have for your camera and using the free-to-use models and seeing how you like it. Hello Andreas, how are you enjoying your stay? It's been wonderful, Hannah. Thank you. Well enough. It was not what, it used, what I'm used to, honestly. Oh good, you're in the best room we have. I'm glad it's to your liking. Is there anything else? Oh, thank you. Until later. Till then. Samuel? I don't know any of these people. Master Mailer, is it? Hello and welcome to the Golden Hand. Yeah, I'm Nico Berger. I own this land house and run it with my wife Hannah and our son Killian. I believe my boy helped you to your room. Is it to your liking? It's lovely, thank you. I'm glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. When you arrived in town, one of the locals said you lived here a few years back. Yes, I work for the Abbey as an artist. Let's see. I heard that you were involved in solving a murder. Yes, out of necessity. The wrong man was being accused of the crime. A friend of mine. Trying to ask me how to solve a murder? I heard it was the prior at the Abbey. That the Baron was a sacrifice in some diabolical spell the brother was casting. He yeah, wasn't casting a spell. The Baron wasn't a sacrifice. Where did you hear that? Alright. Let's find it to be an interesting story. Oh well. We'd let you get to your day. Till later. Till then. Good day, Master Mailer. Meadow. Brother with Slav uses thyme in almost all of the Abbey's cooking, maybe because it grows so easily here. Oh. Otto. Martin, just do it. You know it's the right thing. I don't understand why this is so hard for you. Why do I'm scared? It's dangerous to cross, cross the Abbot. But you prefer the alternative? You don't need to do that, Otto. I understand. I'm just saying. Andreas? Andreas Mailer. Good to see you again, old friend. Otto, you're looking well. This is my apprentice, Gaspar Ziegler. Salzburg. Good day. 
the answer is that. I thought he might be your son. We don't grow them that fast, even in Nuremberg. Grow fast enough around here. Ava and I just had our first little Otto. What do we call him? Otz? Congratulations to you both. That's wonderful news. Thank you. It's been a trial with Dad gone, but Clara and Ursula help out where they can. Sorry to hear about your father. That's life. At least he's with the Lord now, free of his aches and pains. I know Eva wrote to you about my father's death, Andreas. Why didn't you write back? I'm sorry, I just... things got busy after I left passing. Sorry to interrupt, but I should be heading back. I like I should remember your place, but I can't... I should remember your face, but I can't place it. But don't trouble yourself, it's me, Martine, remember? Oh yes, of course. Hello, Martine. You've grown. Been known to happen with children. As much as I love... Wiling? As much as I love whiling away the hours in the meadow. I have a lot to attend to. Otto, see you at the meeting later. Andreas, until then. Until then. The time I saw Martine was in this meadow. He was sneezing. Seemed to hate being here. Now he loves it. Strange. Is it strange or are you just confused? I know what I saw. Are you sure? Till then. I don't care. He's a little shithead. Die. Pain in my ass. Something happening in town? You picked an interesting time to visit. Come by the town commons in a while. I think you'll be interested to hear what I have to say. I didn't realize you were in the business of giving speeches. I definitely attend. Sounds good. Till later then. Well, him and Eva are a thing. Big York better not have stolen Sedana, bro. Kill him. Oh. Trapped. Andreas, I had heard you were back in town. Or back in Tassing. God bless you. God bless you, Father Thomas. It is good to see you again. Good morning, Father Thomas. You're not going to try and get me to come to Mass, are you? I'd hope that in the many years since you were with us in Tassing, attending Mass has become a habit. That, and I'm sure Master Mailer isn't staying through Sunday. Hopefully this visit will be less eventful than your last. Tassing has enough going on as it is. For bonfire for St. John's Eve tomorrow night. People up to all sorts of mischief. It's my job to hear their confessions in the days that follow. Not to mention the crumbling peasants are making. I just talk, brother. No need to scare our guests with such things. After if there's trouble, Master Mailer will be the first to stick his nose in it. Why are you always such an asshole? I have no appreciation for how privileged your life is. Easy enough for you to come and go. You don't have to live with the consequences. After Ferenc was executed, Father Abbott made Matthew the new prior. Ferenc may have been annoying, but Matthew is even worse. Thanks for that. Would have been better for everyone if we had simply allowed Brother Piero to die. After all, he only had a few years left anyway. You're a buffoon and a coward who hides behind his habit. Friends, friends, there's no need for such ire. I forgive me, Master. Forgive me, Father Thomas. I let my passions get the better of me. Besides, it's not even why I came down here. I actually came to speak to you on behalf of the Abbot Andreas. Father Gurno would like to invite you to. So Father Gurno would like to invite you to come to the library tomorrow morning if you're interested in purchasing some of our books. Abbott just had me run off and now he wants me back. These finances must be dire if Father Gurno is selling off the library. Take a look, the past few years have been good for me. Good. These books aren't of much value anymore. Perhaps they will be to you. The library is not quite ready yet, as it does not see much use. You could come by tomorrow morning. Mother Illuminata can show you what's available. Illuminata? Mother Illuminata? Yes, since Mother Cecilia passed a few years ago. 
How did she die? Peacefully, in her sleep. Till tomorrow morning? Yes, but I can't guarantee I'll buy anything. Oh, I don't care. Father Gurno just sees this as an opportunity. And Andreas, I apologize for my harsh words before. It was rash. Brother Piero was a pious man and a skilled artist. You miss him. An excellent performance, brother guy. I almost believed it. Chris, please. Fine, Father. Oh, Father Thomas, do you have a moment to speak inside the church? Yes, I think so. Why? Private matter. Of course, of course. Till tomorrow. God bless you, Andreas. Fuck that loser. Going to the church. See what's going on there. Die, Schlau. Finding collection of wildflowers. They all grow so plentifully in the meadow. If only there was a way to transport them to the cities. Selling these would be profitable. Definitely thought this story would end by the time I left. Cut to the abbot's house. I assume I'm allowed into the church. Well, not allowed, but I can get in. No, I guess not. That seems weird to lock up a church. All of this is locked up. Might be because I have to go through some mandatory cutscenes. Get some exposition going. Probably. Closed. Done better at drawing. Team Bauer and Truckers or Tilia's. Tilia probably doesn't have her home. Who lives here then? Martine? Nobody? Rose farm? A spower farm? Got bees, is that? Nah, Anton? Zimmerman house. Who the hell is that? A cream or town. Nobody's out. I guess because it's raining, duh. Truckers. Right, I was supposed to come here and talk to bro. They upgrade? Got another kid, Magdalene. Klaus, Andreas. Sorry, Klaus, I know it's been a long time. Klaus, you're not really mad, are you? Seven years. Seven years and nothing from my friend Andreas. First Bert, then Marie, just after Magdalene was. Oh shit, they died? I've always thought highly of you. I can't believe you didn't write back after I told you they had passed. I didn't know what to say. Something. Anything. Sorry your son died, class. I'm sorry your wife died, class. How are you? Was the greatest speaker really at a loss for words? Too late for that now, though. Oop. 
the Bobo. Hello. He likes you. Your business seems to have grown. What are you printing? The 12 articles. They were originally written by a Swabian peasants. We're demanding changes from the lords. Freedom from serfdom, freedom to hunt and use the woods as God intended, freedom from compulsory labor. Abolition of the inheritance tax, fair appraisal of rent, return of property to common use and ownership. Bavaria isn't Swabia, but their complaints are just as valid for the peasants of Tassing. Oh, so this is Otto's cause. The laws may not be just, but they are the laws. I fear the people of Tassing are putting themselves in peril. They're already in peril. Many of them are becoming desperate. The abbot has been squeezing the peasants for years. Now he's squeezing the townsfolk and we're pushing back. Their cause is righteous, Andreas. If you haven't seen the Gertners lately, you should visit them. And Otto had you print these? Yes, why? Well, I didn't think he could read. He can't, but just about everyone else in town can. He speaks, I print. Just trying to do my part, I suppose. I'm sorry, I'm still not in the mood for this late reunion. Come back for dinner tomorrow. Go to the commons, hear what Otto has to say. It's worth hearing. Of course I will see you then. Be good while we're gone, Magdalene. Will you be good? Nons. Cold reunion. Red house construction is going smoothly. I wonder if they'll finish it before winter. Eisenkopf. New family up here? Was, was I ever allowed in here before? A painting of the Virgin Mary? What does the labyrinth symbolize? Must be the labyrinth the church, the church is named after. It's probably a labyrinth under, under the church, maybe. Who knows, maybe the millers are out. Nope. Bell is ringing, maybe I have to go to the church. Seems not. Probably gotta wait until the next day. Father Gruno's new restrictions, the townsfolk can't even gather sticks without a fee. gone. Probably at that meeting. Sensation, one here. Nothing here either. Oh, two innocents. An 
now I'm thinking it's the Abbot who's the villain. Well, he was always the villain, but the murderer. Already been to the meadow. Bit of campering. Do I know who that is? Still can't answer. Our farm. Oh, no, I didn't go back into the town commons. There could be someone out. Yep. So many people. Everyone listen. We all know why we're here. Nothing I'm going to say will be a surprise. Nothing I'm going to say hasn't already been spoken. Behind closed doors, whispered to your neighbors. Nothing I'm going to say is untruthful, so it's time we started saying it openly. Year after year, the Abbey has found new ways to tax the peasants. Piece by piece, the Abbey has taken away our rights to use God's forest to support our families. Law after law gets heaped upon us, restrictions on how we can pay rent. Limits on where we can move, who we can wed. And now, the death tax, which once claimed only our best animal and garment takes half our estate. No consideration for widows, no consideration for children. What about the town council? The rat house? Community hall where people meet, typically a council that governs day-to-day -day affairs under the authority of a lord. Surely that is a sign the abbot wishes to share his power, to listen to our grievances. You have a good heart, Ulrich. You always want to see the best in people. I recognize... Most of these people, but no. Council is a way for the abbot to divide us, to pit a favored few against the many. This is not charity, no only greed and desperation. Right, Father Gurno. You'd think that if the abbot could, he'd steal a dead man's soul from heaven itself. When we protested, what did Father Gurno do? He locked the shrine of St. Moritz. He won't allow the people of this town, the farmers of this land, to pray before the relic. Now when we most need the incession of our saint, the abbot has shut us out in recession. Father Gurno's actions aren't just. They aren't Christian. We've endured this abuse for too long. It's time we let the abbot know we won't take it anymore. Two right here, here, yes. This has to stop. Let's fix this. Stop, this is foolish. Soldiers are already patrolling nearby towns. If you push against the abbey, you'll incur the duke's wrath. We could just get the town raised and everyone killed. Anna's right. The duke is a powerful force in Bavaria. You're playing a dangerous game, Otto. You lot are no match for trained soldiers. If you don't relent, you'll be crowned into dust like the Swabian peasants. I could always grind you up instead, Lenhart. I'd be right if there are already soldiers about. I know about this, we must stand for what's right, God is on our side. Don't be shy, speak up if you have a cause. You won't be overrun, the peasants of Salzburg were able to take the city and have their cause heard. If the people can get the Archbishop of Salzburg to listen to them, then we can do the same with the abbot. Master Andreas, do you think my family in Salzburg is alright? Family are merchants, I doubt they got mixed up in all that. Oh no, my dad and brother aren't fighters, but anything's possible. Enough is enough, we can't stand by while the abbot continues treating us poorly. People all over Swabia are taking back their god-given rights, why shouldn't we do the same? Righteous cause, Martin's right, we deserve better. Well spoken, Martine. 
Everyone ought to consider what he said. Athena's proved a dependable friend these last few years. But if the words of a few... But if the words of men can't persuade you, perhaps a sign from a greater power will. The abbot may have locked us out of our saint shrine, but God has shown me that he's with us. I think that's all I should say for now. Thank you all for coming. Huh. Good day, Andreas. Claire, it's been too long. It's lovely to see you again. Hello, Andreas. Surprised to see you after your long absence from Tassing. At this rate, we thought we'd never see you again. On the road back to Nuremberg. It's gone too long. I'm sorry for not sending word of my arrival. I certainly did pick an odd time to visit. In the middle of a strange season. Ah, you found the Gertners. Your speech was very rousing, Otto. I swear they get better each time. If the Duke doesn't catch word of this, Otto, the town could suffer for it. Past the point of caring, Mailer. If you were in our position, you'd understand that. Right, it's not my place to judge, I'm just concerned. Appreciate it, but we know the risks. Understood why many people hate the Abbot, convinced Otto to talk about his sign from God. Otto, did you really see a sign from God? Is that true? It is, Andreas, I swear. Come talk to me later. I'll tell you what I can, alright? Anyway, Andreas, you and yours should come by the house for supper. You'd be delighted to have you. Sounds sound good to you, Kispar? Yes, Master Andreas, I'm starving. The table is a little sparse lately, but we'll be sure to feed you well. Thank you. See you there. On to Vespers. I think after this, I'm done. Entress. Andreas, you're back in Tassing. Just for a few days, I wanted to pay my respects to Brother Piero. Passing through on my way back to Nuremberg. Pay my respects. Yes, Brother Piero, what a talent with color. I'm sorry, Andreas. The sweet old man, I talk to him sometimes on my breaks up at the Abbey. Surprised Brother Frank didn't give you an earful. I did before the uh, unpleasantness. Sure, you know it, sh what it shook up things at the Abbey for a while. Other guy made it clear I wasn't welcome at Curcell when I arrived, so yes. For what it's worth, you're still welcome to Tassing anyway. Matthew's prior now. Still strict, but a bit quieter about it. Matthew has always stuck, struck me as quite pious. True, you wouldn't think piety could be uncommon in an abbey, but with Father Gruno. Oh, are you in with the peasants, Andreas? Well, of course, Gruno has been running them into the ground. On top of that, we can't even use the forest anymore. Any of us used to be able to go fishing in there, not anymore. Why are you going to take this? I don't know, don't ask me, I'm not leading the thing. But I trust in Otto and the peasants do too. A good man. The whole town knows it, even Lenhart. Well, he wouldn't admit it. Say, Andreas, how's the married life been treating you? After you left here to return to Nuremberg, I assume you married that girl of yours, Sabine? I did. Marriage is a legal requirement for becoming a recognized master craftsman. Of course, these obligations seldom reach a small town like ours. I imagine it would apply to me as well if I got far enough. I suppose the married life has treated you well. Still have not found anyone. It's never going to happen. Not a single person has caught your eye? When I was in Innsbruck for a few years ago. A few years ago, I saw a really pretty girl at the market selling painted pots. I think about her sometimes maybe more than is Christian. We need to find- we need to go back to Innsbruck and find that girl. Until you know, Andres, it's not worth the effort. Don't let the pretty facade fool you. What? Really? Older than me and you're not married, go find her. It's too short to spend dreaming about the loves you could have had. You seem to feel strongly about this, Andreas, but it sounds foolish. Juvenile, you might say. 
Don't overthink it, just take my advice. You not have found true love, but that doesn't mean you can't. Absolutely right, forget everything I said. Feels right. If I ever have the chance to get back to Innsbruck, maybe I will. Something to look forward to after all. Thank you, Andreas, you're a man of inspiration. Measure until later, Andreas. Bakery. Well, Anna's not rolling dough on the floor anymore. God bless you, Andreas. I'm thankful you and returned to Tassing after so long. We prayed so fondly for you after you left. Thank you, Grit. I've kept Tassing in my prayers as well. It's very kind of you. You shouldn't have bothered. Done well for myself, but Tassing. Your prayers offset the Abbot. He's not as fond of me as the rest of Tassing. That doesn't seem to have done much good. Right, you were at Otto's speech earlier. Yes, Tassing's peasants are struggling, and even now, we townsfolk are pinched by the abbot's new restrictions. I worry about my husband, he's getting too involved with the whole business. Gerno is doing his wrong, and Otto is standing up to him. But Ulrich says too. Love my husband, but sometimes I worry that he focuses too intently on the details. I see that he may be both prudent and Christian. I pray that I am not acting selfishly, but the abbot's taxes have affected us too. What about Anna's future? Ulrich has been offering credit to Peter for years, which I have accepted now. We can only bake so much bread a week before we go hungry ourselves. Can you talk to him, Andreas? Of course, Grit, but I can't promise he'll change his mind. the Eisenkopf. Tinker. Baltasar. Salutations, you must be that wonderful artist, no? Master Andreas Mailer, yes. Wonderful, wonderful. Baltasar Eisenkopf, at your service, but call me Baltus, please. It's much more familiar. Pleasure, Baltus. Have you been in Tassing long? Just a few seasons, my cart broke down, and I found the place so charming I decided to stay. Enjoy the quiet, but I must say I do miss the company of other intellectuals. Unusually, that good Dr. Stoltz and I whittled the hours away in the evenings. So naturally, when I heard a well-known artist had returned, I was beside myself. Always pleased to find a m always pleased to meet a m like minded individual. What do you do? I'm an inventor of sorts. What do you make? All sorts of things, young man. Mechanical clocks of all sizes, metal mice that skitter about, even light without flame. Truly impressive, Baltus. Thank you, Andreas. I knew a fellow artist such as yourself would appreciate my work. Best get back to it, you know how it is for us. All to an higher art. Good luck, Baltus. For later. What about Stoltz? Is he still an asshole? Two beds. Six chairs. Yes. Oh, Master Mailer, how un unexpected. I'm very busy at the moment. Another time? Later then. Let's see, maybe the church is open? Damn lucky he's still alive. Grace back in testing, I see. Happy to see me? No, times are tense. It's gonna be referring to Otto's speech. Won't end well. Life's getting harder for everyone, but if this shit goes on, there will be backlash. Bloody one. Don't like the abbot coining coming for my fishing rights, but I'll, ma I'll make do. Both the restrictions and increased taxes affect you differently than the peasants living off the land? Stonemasonry is the lifeblood of the town, Andreas. We work, we don't complain, it's not Christian. 
Suppose, how is your family doing during these troubling times? We're fine. Agnes is fine. Brigitte and Martin are fine. He has become far more responsible a man after his return. Just wish, uh... Never mind. You wish? Wish Wolf hadn't died. Wolf's died? What the fuck? I mourn the boy all these years later. I hope you'd take up my mantle. I wanted to pass on my knowledge and trade. Peace and peace, Wolf. May God keep his tiny soul safe. Perhaps Regita will have another while I live. She seems happy enough with Martine. I'll have to hear the patter of small feet again. Boy to hold a chisel and a mallet. Little stonemason making his grandfather proud. Hope your wish comes true. God willing. Enough idling now, got things to do. Until later, Andreas. Agnes looks the exact same. Andreas, how good it is to see you again, and who's this? Hello, Agnes, this is my assistant, Kaspar. What a hell? Hell looking boy, and you, Andreas, you look very well. Why are you back in Tassing? Came to pay respects to Brother Piero's grave. Of course, I'm sure the brother appreciated that. The last few years have been difficult for everyone. I've lost so many. Heard Bert and Marie had passed. Tragic. Yes, poor Klaus. I hope you've stopped and to talk with him. He sent you letters. Yes. Anyway, I won't burden you with all Tassing's troubles. It's been good to see you again, Andreas. Until later. Just slowly make my way to the church. Rucker's closed. Father Thomas. Miller's out. Elsa. Go in. Paul. Hello, Master Mailer. Hello, Paul. Meet Kaspar, my assistant. Hello. You work with Master Mailer. Have you done real art? I guess. I'm doing sketches of Tassing while we're here. All art created from the artist's heart is real, Paul. It took me years of practice to make what I thought was real art, Paul. Better off working in the mill, Paul. The life of an artist is a life of drudgery. You don't need fancy paints or canvases to be an artist. You think so? How's your art going? Not where Dad can hear. Oh, right. How's the art going? Been practicing a lot more. Klaus even showed me a big book of old prints. Said they used a technique called woodcutting. You ever done woodcutting, Master Mailer? Did someone in Krakow? The woodcuts take ages to create, but can be reused like Klaus's paint print printing press. That's amazing. Wish Dad would change his mind about art. Maybe one day, Paul. You never know. Hope so. Get back to helping my dad. See you later, Master Mailer. See you, Kespar. Stove. Got a rifle out. Chris, welcome back to Tassing. Hello, and Hello, Landhart. How's the mill? Dirty as ever, just like me. You look well. Not stuck with the Gertners this time, eh? Gertners are lovely people, Landhart. I didn't want to burden them, as I'll only be here a few days. Whatever you say. You have such a curious fascination with the peasants. Probably because you don't have to deal with them as often as the rest of us. Anyway, you should come by sometime. I'm sure we'll have a lot to discuss. Good day, Andreas. See? He's still a dickhead. Church is still probably not open, but I might as well check. Look at the guest house is. Gotta check every opening. Nope. 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 There's, there should be fast travel. Let me click a spot on the- maybe there is. Guess not. 
Start on the Gertner farm, because that's where I gotta go. Take alternate path back. Nobody's in here because they can't be. Without being taxed. Nobody's fishing. Who got Smoker? Is he back? Smokey? Smokey's back. Well, Master Mailer, you're looking well. Thank you, Smokey. How are you? Well enough, I guess. Luxslav went his way a few years ago, which I suppose was bound to happen. Miss the company sometimes, but now there's no one to keep me from my gossip. I want to tell it to either. Always partial to a few new tidbits of information. Do tell us, Smokey. Half the years in tassing will be burning by the end, Mr. Mailer. Nearly all of them in the Abbey. Oh. Did see another Imperial Reich's post. Private mail service run by the Thurn and Taxi's family and approved by the Holy Roman Empire. Courier ride from the Abbey a few days ago. Brother Guy dropped the bag once. It looked heavy. The Abbey must be doing better than the Abbot is letting on. Does that happen often? Once or twice a month. Odd with what the Abbot has been saying about the Abbey struggling. Doesn't help that the Abbot has tightened restrictions so close to St. John's Eve, too. Townsfolk get up to all sorts of mischief then. What sort of mischief. Wager Johan and Kat will find some corners to play in again. It's practically tradition at this point. Veronica and Brigitte might go out for a midnight dip by the waterfall, too. They've been swimming out there for years. Uh, everyone's getting clever trying to stay out from the abbot's eye. Rightly so, he's an ass. Then see you in the town commons during Otto's speech. Are you standing with the peasants? The cause doesn't really affect me, does it? It's worried as anyone about the soldiers rushing through here, but the new taxes and restrictions don't bother me. I understand why they're upset, but I've been doing fine out here with less than they have. Nothing will change for me if they get their way. I still support them. I don't want to get involved, I'm fine as I am. Supporting them would be the proper Christian thing to do, I guess. But when have any of them done the Christian thing for me? Give them what they need and so they will be indebted to you. This creates a structure of obligation. Don't know, Andreas. Given them my work for years, but they refuse to treat me right. They mock me for my blind faith, since I have to keep a constant eye on the kiln for days on end. Can't go to the church as often. I laugh at the way I stink, I can't help that, you know. Hence, once must be even stronger of heart to forgive them for their follies. Not sure I have it in me. Well, enough of that. Thanks for stopping by, Master Mailer. So then, Smokey. Church and Druckers. Went through all this. Martin and Widow's out. Cat? Andreas Andreas Mailer? Hello, Cat. You look at that, you are back in Tassing. Hey, you, you've done well for yourself. Who's this? Cat, please meet Kaspar, my apprentice. He's got the posture of an artist, that's for sure. Good, strong face, though. I do? What brings you back to Tassing, Andreas? Just passing through on the way back to Nuremberg. How have you been, Cat? You seem well. Feel well. The past few years have been challenging, but I am stronger now for the Lord's Trials. Ronce passed a few winters ago, then Wolf. Richita and I nearly lost the farm and our minds. But Martine returned shortly after, and he's proved to be a changed man. A good man. He saved us from destitution. Of course, the Abbey would have seized your land. Johan wished to buy it, to preserve it for Brigitte and I, with the taxes being what they are. Well, we are lucky Martin returned. Do not wish for- do not wish the fate of Atelia Kemperin on any woman, at least of all myself. Times may be hard and tassing right now, but God truly does answer our prayers. Glad you and your family are well kept, despite everything. 
Thank you, Andreas. It's truly good to see you again, even in the midst of such terrible times. So, later, Kit. Team Bauer. Chris Mailer, good to see you again after all these years. I'm surprised you'd say that. Your parting words to me back then were hardly kind. Are they? It's been so long, I don't remember. You told me to eat shit. Oh god, that's bad. I was such a little shit. Well, sorry for being an asshole back then. Seems like you've learned a lot since then. Seven years is a long time for a young man, especially one going through what I was. What happened to you anyway? Alright. Well, I stole some of the Baron's things. I didn't make it far with them. I tried to sell them in... Well, gal, And I got robbed. Serves me right, I guess. Luckily, they didn't find the coins I was carrying. Money carried me around Bavaria for another month and a half. Then I started sealing. I grew bigger and more confident over time and became a highwayman. Lucky you didn't get killed. That's what made me quit in the end. I had a partner for the last year of my adventures. I had to rob some Italians. We thought they were merchants traveling under the banner of St. George. But they were soldiers guarding money from the bank of St. George in Genoa. Exactly. I learned that later. Geneva? My partner didn't survive the encounter. I was wounded and alone in the wilderness. Out of my father, my mother, Brigitte, I realized I couldn't remember Wolf's face anymore. I had to come back and take up the responsibilities I had left behind. It's good that you did, for everyone's sake. You may be right, Mom and Brigitte couldn't run the farm after Dad died. Guess he has changed. Maybe it's for the best that he wasn't here when I got back. It's all in the past now, I just need to look forward. Quite the speech you gave back at the commons. We need support. The townsfolk aren't committed to opposing the abbot. They have less to gain and more to lose if the abbot chooses to get the duke involved. Anyway, I have to get back to work. I'm talking to you, Andreas. Brigitte. Hello, Andreas. Hello, Brigitte. How are you? As well as anyone can be in Tassing right now. It's interesting. It looks like things are going well for you. Martin returned, after all. Yes, the winter without him was excruciating. Lost little wolf, and Kat was worried that she'd lose the farm after Franz died. Then Martin returned, and he's pro provided well for us ever since. Despite the tightening restrictions we've gone by, I'm thankful. Sorry to hear about wolf. Thank you, it's... Try not to think about it. I don't want to remember him? I do, of course I do. Do you really? Or it's her background, spoke well of Martin's return. No. I don't know. Wait for it to collect your thoughts. Dark thoughts come for me when I am alone. Andreas, Christian thoughts. Did I do all I could for him? I cherished him, I pr tried to protect him, but it wasn't enough. Maybe God took him from me because I wasn't enough. Maybe it's good Wolf died. If Mary in heaven would be a better mother for him than I ever could have been. Even Mary could not save her son, Brigitte. But isn't it she who women are, are called by the Lord to emulate? Yes, I suppose. I don't know what to say. Kat wants to talk about him all the time, you know. Any night there's clear skies, she looks up and asks if I ever wonder how he is up there. You think about what it's like for him in heaven? I dream. I meet him there sometimes. It's not over for Kat. She wants to keep him alive by remembering him. But I need it to be over. When you dwell on his death, it begins to feel like something terrible might happen to you. Like you might do something terrible. Yes. Andreas, did you... Do you have children? I... Say nothing. Continue saying nothing. Andreas, I... Andreas, are you alright? Master? Fuck. I shouldn't have brought this up, I'm sorry, Brigitte. Nothing to apologize for. Glad you cared to ask that people cared about him being gone. I wish the game let me move my cursor down. 
fix the weight up. Those thought bubbles should pop up immediately. That's annoying. Takes the weight off me having to carry it all. Does Martine talk about him? No, almost never. Wolf passed while Martine was gone. Now he pretends like our son never existed. It's been good to see you again, Andreas, but you should go. But I should go. Of course, be well, Brigitte. Whose house is this? No one's. On Bower Farm. Patty. Hans. Hey, Andreas. Heard rumor you were back. Hello, Hans. Meet Kaspar, my apprentice. Hello, are you from Nuremberg, like Andreas? Salzburg? Is that very far from here? Not too far, I think. A few days to the east on horseback. Never been outside of Tassing. Or ridden a horse. But get out of this place while you're still young, Hans. It's a shithole. You know another alpine town with two saints? Seems fine to me, all things considered. It's because you've never been anyplace else. Though truly, everywhere's a shithole. Even Nuremberg? Especially Nuremberg. Didn't mind Salzburg. Glad I live in Tassing then. At least it's my shithole. Till later, Hans. Johan? Tres Mailer, I didn't expect to ever see you back in Tassing. Look like you've done well for yourself. Thanks, and how have you been? Things went well for a while after you left. Widow Kemper had lost her land and the abbot let us work it. My brother's heart gave out not long after, but then Martin came back to help work out the land. Even so, it's been hard to keep up with the abbot's demands, the taxes, and everything else. Sounds like a lot of people are upset with the abbot these days. They have good reason to be. Oh, you didn't get on well with the man either. Father Matthias never let things get this bad. Anyway, good to see you, Andreas, even if you're just passing through. Till later. Nothing should be going on in the commons. Yeah. Just gotta go back to the Gertners. It's like the wall's not fixed either. Who's here? Ursula. Veronica. Veronica? Will Peter. Hello, Will Peter. Eh. Yeah. Oh, it's you, the artist from a few years ago. Yes, Andreas Mailer. I'm surprised you remember me. Everyone seems to think my mind is going, but it's still sharp as a nail. Andreas makes nails, you know. Good man. Wait. Staying with my family again? No, I'm staying at the Golden Hand. Those... Those misers charge us just as much as the pilgrims for a drink. I want to support my son and his cause. That new abbot must have gone to them, the bastard. Why do you hate the abbot so much? Everyone knows why everyone hates the abbot. Everything went to shit after Father Matthias died. That man, God rest his soul, never increased taxes. Might have asked for a time, tithe in harder winters, but we were happy to help the abbey then. We could take from the forest as we needed. Brother Florian used to help us in our illnesses. Let us follow in the ways of our forefathers. A true Christian, that old abbot. And then... Father Gurno promised he would keep everything between the abbey and us peasants the same. We were foolish enough to believe him.
First, he refused to allow Florian to come down anymore. Need water. And first, he refused to allow Florian to come down anymore. Taxes got higher. He stopped allowing us to pay our goods, pay in goods and livestock. Now he only takes coin, as though we could come by enough of that in a year to pay our rent alone. Bastard doesn't give a damn about us, not how Father Matthias did. Have you had patrons then? Times weren't as hard. It's not Father Gruno's fault he's had to increase taxes. Didn't realize how bad the restrictions were for you. Father Gruno has been an ass longer than I thought. You should talk to my son. You should help him stop that bastard abbot. Good go. Alright. Oh um, yeah, I guess Otto is his son now. Nope. Otto's his grandson? Don't know. Andreas, good to see you back in town. Hello, Veronica, how have you been? Guess she's probably taking care of ill Peter. Well, every which way. Mom's been a cow about what I give her grandchildren. As if I'm not doing enough work already. You're married now? Yeah, I guess you wouldn't know. Big Jorg and I were married for two springs back. Congratulations to you both. Thanks. Now mom's nagging me about when we'll have kids. You two having trouble? Not exactly. York is fine, it's just... Both are young, relax, you have time. Easy for you to say, Andreas, you have the easy part. Anyway, I should get back to work. We're all preparing for the festival. Leave you to it. Until then, Veronica. See you, Andreas. Ursula looks... Tired. Hello. Hello, Ursula. Do you remember me? No, should I? It's me, Andreas. I've been a friend of your family for ages. I suppose you wouldn't recognize me. I'm not the poor artist your parents boarded. Very young when I was last in testing, I boarded your parents' house. You used to poke me in the foot with a stick to wake me up. Did? You did. I stayed in the room upstairs. I kind of remember that. Oh, she's sick. I think you told me a story once. Mom and Dad sometimes talk about you. They said you went away for more training. What was that like? Well, I wasn't. Well, I was in Krakow. Learned a new printing technique. Oh, not about the art, Andreas. About your travels. All right, all right. The city's market square is almost bigger than Tassing. Almost full of merchants from all over the continent. Saw a cave where a dragon lived. What? Really? Yes, under a hill the locals call it Wewel. When the dragon was alive, it was so hungry it demanded three cattle to eat every day. Or what? Or would eat three cattle's worth of people. But eventually, the king got tired of this and came up with a scheme. They fed the dragon a cattle skin filled with sulfur. What sulfur? A stone that burns. They set a small fire in the heart of the sulfur. After the dragon ate it, the fire spread and burned the dragon from the inside. But it's gone now, right? Yes, of course. I couldn't have visited its cave if it were still alive, could I? Right. Andreas, can I ask you something? Of course. You know the stories about... Perchta and the Wild Hunt? A little. I didn't learn about them until I lived here. Why? Are they bad? Bad how? Well, my grandpa tells me things about Perchta and spirits and charms. The old woman, Attilia, she talks about them too, and says all these words I don't understand. She told me they're part of the old ways or something. So why do you think they're bad? Well, my dad says I shouldn't listen to all of it, to any of it. He said it's nonsense, that Father Thomas would be mad. He said he only tolerates it with old people because they're too stuck in their ways. I don't want to get in trouble, but Grandpa says if I don't learn the old wheels, they'll just be forgotten. So are they bad? Not bad, you should learn what you can while you can. Not bad, but those stories can get you in trouble. Really? Yes, it's important for you to carry on the stories and knowledge of your ancestors. That makes sense. Thanks, Andreas. It's a leader. 
Big Yorg. Doesn't want to speak to me. Up with Peter. Never mind. Up with Clara. Hello again, Andreas. We're about to sit down to supper. Can care to join? Be my pleasure. Truly a blessing to have everyone back together again. Only briefly. Keep an eye on that boy of yours, Andreas. See that he minds how much he takes. Young boys eat too goddamn much. Peter, stop that. Andreas is our guest. Why don't you lead us in grace? Fine. God bless us, O Lord, and these your gifts, which we are about to receive from your bounty. We pray again, our beloved Christine, gone now these many years. Please help me protect my family in these difficult times. Through Christ our Lord, amen. So many people. Andreas, why are we the only ones with bread? Gardeners can't afford a lot of bread, they're being polite. Andreas, it's good to have you at our table again. With another guest, is this young man your assistant? Yes, Bar, yes, he's my apprentice. That would explain why I saw him writing in that little journal. Remember, you did the same thing when you lived here. Still drawing your journal, Andreas. Sometimes when the mood strikes. Wouldn't that be nice, Jorg, if we only had to work when the whim took us? We toil all day and that despicable abbot is starving us while he sips on his sacramental fucking wine. Lay off him, Dad. He's only just got here. Seems he's fallen on hard times. He felt the need to point it out, Mailer. The Lord is testing us with another hard season, I'm afraid. It's one way to see it. Been miserable as shit all around. Maybe you should be resting, Grandpa. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna do it sitting up at my own goddamn table. The whole family's been ill, Andreas. Peter, his father, and Ursula with an... Q and me as well. Clara lost the child in childbed a year ago now. Tragedy, I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you, Andreas. It was some time ago, but such things linger. It was monstrous. Clearly the child is with the Lord now. Uh, don't think about it, just keep the conversation going. Already thinking about it. Please leave me alone just for a while. The Lord doesn't seem to look our way any longer. That's why it's time for us to take matters into our own hand. We not talk about this now. Your cure was married while you were away, Andreas. I'd heard you and Veronica make a good match, Jorg. Work isn't good, there aren't many other options in Tassing anyway. I've been a couple springs, but I'm still not used to being married. Congratulations, Yorg, I'm happy for you. Thanks, Andreas, it's been one or one blessing in a dark season. Children soon to come, I hope. Don't get it. You? Forget it, Ursula. What have you been up to, Andreas? Foreign patrons are fussy and I've spent a fortune trying to keep my inks wet and canvases dry while traveling. What should I say? My life's so far... And so far from theirs for now. Mine's gone blank. I'll leave them waiting. Can't think of anything. About my miserable little problems. So think you're rude if you don't say something. Nuremberg is miserable, I'm painting a commission, but patrons are paying to be added, so it's taking ages to finish. Been so busy with Kaspar's apprenticeship, I'd never have any time to myself. Christ, Andreas, you're living like a king compared to us. What is it like to travel? Must have seen so much. 
Tell him maybe you should excuse yourself and rest. You're sick. Still hungry. It's not fair that nobody else gets any bread besides Master Andreas and me. So I'll give it back to him. Not going to have people in this town saying we can't feed our goddamn guests. Besides, we all have work to get back to, don't we? Good. Time to get back to it, Andreas. We'll see you and your boy later. Happy to provide a loan to you and your family, Peter, to help ease your burdens. Peter. God damn it, Andreas. My debts are between me and the abbot, you hear me? And no offense, Peter. I'll go now. Good plan. Everyone's probably sleeping. Do one sweep of the area. Looks like everyone's gone. Oh. Sin of Saul? First monarch of Israel, according to the Old Testament, Saul was divinely rejected from the kingship after disobeying the prophet Samuel's in instructions. Did you hear that? It sounded like someone crying out. I think it's sister Emily. She's a mystic. She may have. She may be having one of her visions. Sister Emily, are you all right? Philistines, this is the hand of God. Compliant, compliant. Sister, is something happening at Compliant? It's Compliant right now. Sister Amelie? You're the artist, Andreas. Are you alright, sister? I'm tired, was I talking? Having a vision, you mentioned the sin of Saul, Philistines, and Compliant. Father Thomas were here. Like Aspar to go get him? He could, yes. His house is just around the corner. Aspar, run and get Father Thomas. Yes, Master Andreas. Your son? My apprentice, Gaspar Ziegler from Salzburg. Seems eager to please you. Of course, that is the job of an apprentice. Of little knowledge of the workings of masters and apprentices. The world is one of spirit, decoupled from the march of life and death. See and hear your world turning from this little window, but they are mercifully small glimpses. Chose a difficult life. Well, life is not difficult, but the choice was. My life belongs to God, and its trials are mine to endure in this cell. Your world is the world of normal lives and normal thoughts. It can be difficult to hear the divine, much less make sense of it. I have no will to be part of that world. I strive to have no will at all, but to subordinate myself to the will of God. And my will is his will. He graces me with visions, confusing though they may be. It must be frustrating. It is a struggle, but it's not frustrating. My visions are gifts from God. I am blessed to receive them. Must have patience, seek counsel in Father Thomas, and accept that not everything will be revealed to me. Sister, what is that hole in the ground? My grave. It seems macabre. I dug it before Father Thomas read me my funeral rites, before I was enclosed here. I dig a little more in it each day. Most people find it shocking, but this is my devotion, my vocation. Once someone finds their calling, they must answer it fully. What if the calling is wrong? Wish I could give myself a helpful answer, but I don't know. I felt this was my calling even before I could admit it to myself. It's your calling in question, Andreas. It's your life. Both, I think. It's my love for art, love for family, love for anything. The last seven years have been hard. It was all too much for me. Don't lose hope, Andreas. 
A human heart is no small thing, it can hold so much. Chris, thank you for sending Kaspar. Seemed prudent. You all right, Sister Emily? Yes, Father, I may have had another vision. Chris said I spoke of the sin of Saul, Philistines, and complying. What do you think it means, Father? Chris, Kaspar, could you excuse us? We appreciate your help, but I must tend to her now in the church. Of course, Father, good evening. Sir Andreas, I'm confused. What did that all mean? Not sure, but the last time I heard Sister Emily have a vision, just before the Baron was murdered. I think Sister Emily could be receiving warnings. It's too simple an explanation. There are layers and layers to divine messages. No revelation with real power of prophecy could be understood plainly. The meaning must be hidden or implied. Don't guess where this retired for the evening. Check one last time if the church is open. Room. I'm as sparse compared to what I'm used to. And late, I should get some rest. Go to sleep. Probably gotta go to the mine palace again. Maybe. Guess not. Illuminata at the library. Oh no. Got this Kaspar? I don't think so. This script looks beautiful, Master Andreas. Did you write that? You were warned. Warned? What does that mean? Warned about what? It's to do with the murder that happened last time I was here. But they caught the murderer. Yes, but it's complicated. Let's just head up to the library. Saved. Quit the game. And... Transition to the ending. It's showing up. Uh... Same time. Tomorrow. Till then. Peace.